Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest House of Iron 4 video. Today we are doing Japan. I have been asking you lately to provide feedback in the comments on what you would like to see me do, and a commenter by the name of Drew Knitz suggested I play as Japan and invade France right away at the start of the game. We can do that if we join the Axis and invade from their ports. And he says, and I quote, This is interesting because this seems to break the game AI. After France is conquered, the Allies don't guarantee any of Europe against further Japanese aggression. Um, I tested this briefly and that is not entirely the case they might not guarantee people but for example Netherlands can just join the Allies when attacked still I think this is a great opener for Japan so we're gonna check that out test it a little bit still not sure who to attack whether France directly or for example Yugoslavia who's guaranteed and would put us at war with more people so yeah that's what we're gonna do this time we're going to do historical focuses because we can't have a civil war in Germany and uh, successfully do the Axis thing. I'm in mode of course regular difficulty. Japan, let's go. Japan is one of the countries that start extremely powerful. We have 60 units right off the bat, powerful industry, lots of manpower, huge fleet, we start fascist, we can justify war goals right away and all that. Now, as for the focus tree, it is also very powerful. Now we have the communist option, fascist option, non-aligned option and democratic option. We're going with the axis and attack people, so we're going to stick with the fascist option. I could delay taking the first focus just to justify the war goal a bit sooner, but I find it to not be necessary. Then again, if you intend to attack right away, this might be the best option, so let's delay the first focus a bit maybe and see how that works out. Now, production. I'll just do infantry as usual. We have a couple of templates, and this is infantry with support, very big units. We have marines, which could be helpful, and these reserve regular infantry units. First off, let us send a request to join the Axis. Construction, we are doing purely civilian factories for that. Why? Well, because I asked you in a poll recently if I should do Japan that an Axis people or Japan that gets puppets. And you have voted, at least at the time I'm recording this, for Puppet Master Japan. So our puppets are going to provide us with all the military factories we need and we will build civilian factories for ourselves. I will do infrastructure and then civilian factories to the max on the home isles. Well, maybe not Hokkaido, it's just two slots. And fill all of these provinces up with civilian factories. Construction set up. Now, production. Uh, let's keep some support equipment. Maybe add trains and do I need trucks? Probably don't need trucks. Well, maybe one factory on trucks. We will mostly not be using anything but infantry weapons because I'm going for a quick rush attack, but a little bit of support equipment might be necessary, as well as all those to get supplies to us. We start with four research slots, which is a lot. Electronic mechanical engineering, machine tools, construction and machine guns. We have a couple of very nice decisions down here, but they can wait. Okay, that's about it. Let's pause and see the German response to our offer. We stand together. Good. Now let's also train up to a full army group. That means 60 of these reserve troops. Only once. Deploy here. And the troops we already have are going straight to Germany. Alternatively, we could attack the United Kingdom and not France, but it's better to take out France first. I'll explain later as to why. Sending our troops to Germany, and I'll also set the deployment of reserve forces to that particular army. Why are you not moving? Go to Germany. What the hell? All right, they're moving. Good. We don't need a garrison on the Isles here. I need around 40 Bodega Power to start justifying my war goal. I can go right for France, or we can just find Yugoslavia, who is guaranteed by Romania, Czechoslovakia and France, which can give us quite a lot of territory. All right. Let's go after Yugoslavia. Just for war goal, 39 political power for Macedonia. And now we can finally start our focus. Purge the Kodoha faction. Everybody's on their way. Yeah, damn it, I forgot to prioritize this. It's a bit of a mistake, we might not have them in time. I don't really need those extra units, but they'll be handy. Oh, right. I was at a negative for political power, so I wasn't really justifying the war goal, was I? The, yeah, the justification is pause when you are in the negative, so I should have just gone on right away with doing the focus from the beginning, I suppose. Doesn't really matter, those are all minute details. If you're playing someone as powerful as Japan or the UK or Germany or France or the Soviet Union, even Italy, it really doesn't matter if you make such small mistakes. You can usually just beat everyone up anyway. Deploying troops as soon as I can. So finish building the ships you are already building, then just focus on convoys. We have a huge fleet, more than enough to beat up everyone. Ah, speaking of the fleet, let's get them all into a single group, give them an admiral, whichever, the first one, merge, select a task force and move them all to Germany. 
They are taking up a lot of fuel, not really a problem. Remilitarization of Rhineland, and we speak against Yugoslavia. We might even denounce Yugoslavian ideals, who knows? Right, our focus is complete, although I should have started doing focuses from the start. Let's guide the Zaibatsus. Damn it, I forgot to deploy troops, end of time. Might not finish my production. My guys have arrived in Germany, most of them. Do we need more troops? Well, I will need them for later, for sure. Better research, please. We also have some planes. Let's use those too. I guess I can leave the ones on the ships. But the rest goes to Germany. And they will be operating in France. Just activate all the missions, because why the hell not? And assign them to Northern France. Can you reach Western France? Some of you can, but that won't do much. Just do Northern then. Resistance to occupation in Taiwan, really. Probably prioritize that. We are using cavalry, which is the proper way to do it. Probably prioritize garrisons over everything else, but I'm still producing my new units. So let's do that and then we can do the garrisons. All right, I'm building factories in Taiwan, which I now realize is a mistake. Let's not do that. You should only build in core territories. We have the choice. We've guided the Zaibatsus. Now, national mobilization law, which will give us war economy pretty early on and for the low price of a focus. Now, how is my war goal? 75 more days. Are we able to deploy the troops, but not get them to their destination, most probably? Oh, not really a problem. They shouldn't get killed in transit, but we'll see. Radio. Oh, right, I have enough points to promote a general. He will be a wonderful field marshal. Promote. We already have two field marshals with the correct traits, but he is level five, so we should probably use him instead. Also, he is a brilliant strategist, but we can use the other two as generals to train them up. We might want to exercise the reserve units, but we don't really have enough time for that. Perhaps I should have started doing that at the start, but then we would have wasted some equipment, we wouldn't have enough to deploy those new troops. We won't really have enough to give them guns. That's not really an issue if you're rushing countries like we plan to do. Deploy. Keep deploying. I might even transition to mass assault because I just plan to swarm everyone with Japanese infantry, as I usually do, but if it works, it works. See, m many of you don't share my view on this, but I enjoy the political part of the game. Making alliances, attacking the proper countries at the proper time. I don't really care for combat. And I realize Hearts of Iron 4 is a war game, so combat is important. It's just not my thing, really. Alright, I've deployed everyone. Now, let's uh, put garrisons on highest priority. We don't want uh, rebellions. Let's make sure everyone leaves four miles. Good. And now we can start assigning them to armies. I can do ten armies in a naval invasion, and I think we should be using this infantry template. It's, we also have marines. We might use them by but this is just much bigger. Actually, it's twice the size. And I think 24 width non-specialized unit might actually be better than a 12 width specialized unit in a naval invasion like this. On the other hand, the Marines do get hefty bonuses, so I'll probably use a mix of Marines and those regular infantry guys. I also have some tanks and motorized. They're not super huge. I only have one Marine from the start. I could make more, but it wouldn't have experience. So right, let's use that one Marine and that well-trained uh, infantry. Also, we have some tanks and motorized. Put them all in my one elite army. The rest is just filler, but you need both. So which filler is the most trained up filler? The cavalry. I could switch it to infantry, but there's no need for that right now. Okay, so this is going to be my elite army. Let's use Shizuchi Tanaka as the main naval invasion guy. Everyone go to Wilhelmshaven, and from there we will attack the north of France. I think Dieppe and Le Havre are the best spot for naval invasions, because they often leave them undefended, though we could use our ships to scout a bit. Also, it's two ports next to each other. So, 10 units in naval invasions, each ordered separately because then they prepare faster. Actually, I still have some time before the war goal triggers, don't I? Let me have a look. Yeah, still a month, so I can do more than one each. Let's do three in this one batch, another three here, so we are left with eight being on the orders. We can do two more. Let's do neighboring provinces to provide some support or at least block reinforcements, if that can happen. Also, the guy can become a Gria fighter. Entrenchment speed, actually, this can come in handy when we land and wait for reinforcements to come. Cancel the garrison order. Everybody is on their way anyway. Even without the order, they will continue to where they're going. Although, I guess using a garrison order would just 
ports is not a bad idea. This way they will already be in ports when I need them in France. Of course these are very weak units but they'll be filler mostly. I will give them equipment and experience in time, we'll have that capability, but for now they're mostly worthless. But the naval invasion will be done by the veterans. They also make our field marshal an aggressive assaulter, give him offensive doctrine and charismatic. That should do. Now the question is should I continue with the battle plan or do mass assault? I guess I could continue with battle plan, it's, it's not bad. Just don't particularly like that one, but it has served me well in the past. Right, generals. Let's use that other field marshal that's level 4 and has the offensive doctrine trait. Sadly, they are all already advisors, so we cannot assign them to anything too good. I guess I could promote... Uh, wait a minute, I could promote this guy. Make him an offense expert or something like that. Because I have an offense specialist available only, and this one will not advance to further ranks. But we have a logistics expert. Let's assign him as a general. Maybe he can become a genius. Anyway, we are more or less ready. Civil war in Spain starts and we have enough political power to get a silent workhorse, which is usually the best choice for an advisor. We're getting into ahead of time territory. That's fine. We'll have five slots very soon, so research is gonna be a blast. Now, activate your orders. Also, the navy will be set on naval invasion support. I'll give the order at uh, the proper time. Our guys are still arriving, not really an issue. We will have our war goal very soon. National mobilization law. Excellent. Next up, research slot. Justification for Macedonia is ready. We'll do that in a moment, but first, perhaps our decision is in order. Steel for guns, four military factories. Yes, please. I didn't do that earlier because I wanted to save for the silent workhorse. We have our war goal. Naval invasions are ready. Let's send our fleet out. Do balance distribution. Naval invasion support in these two zones will be sufficient. Slow the game down a bit. And the invasions are already starting. I mean, it's uh, it shows that they're ready to start. Okay. We're good to go then, Yugoslavia. Do not call Germany in because they will want stuff. And we want to keep all the stuff for ourselves. Send. Now everybody should come in on this. France has been called in, Czechoslovakia and Romania. We mostly care about France, but the others are a nice bonus. And we're on our way. The key thing here is whether we land and secure a port. If we do, we win pretty much. Calais and Dunkirk are defended. Yeah, Dieppe is very often undefended by France, which makes it an excellent spot to invade, but it's not a rule. It is often undefended, not always. Anyway, looks like we're gonna land there in a moment and it has a port, so we will be providing reinforcements to this invasion very soon and we have landed now we could continue what we're doing here continue attacking uh, the provinces the coasts but it's not a good idea if we already have a port that we can just land in so what i'm gonna do is cancel all the orders on this guy just send everyone here and attack towards the interior of france on balanced now we'll need more armies than that sadly most of these guys are very weak reservists well they can also help a little bit let's send two more armies of these weak reservists here we'll just swarm the enemy with our numbers and france is easy to defeat after all attack also i guess we might want to go aggressive let's wait until some more troops land here before we do that also don't be idiots do not leave the port undefended at least not completely undefended until more troops come in at least sure all right the first batch has landed excellent and more are on their way but let's put everyone on aggressive just get all the troops to france why not i promise you a swarm didn't i i don't actually remember if i did go everyone land in france and beat them up now france starts with the disjointed government modifier which makes it very easy to capitulate them. Of course, we must get more than our current foothold here, but that should not really be an issue. Yes, supply situation is not perfect, but uh, we'll get over it. See, just got an extra province. Now, you guys can get to Paris, probably. Those are motorized, so they're pretty fast. If I get Paris, I'm halfway to victory. See, they have not capitulated yet, but they are 62% towards that, with just this naval invasion. And I have this unimpeded car that can just drive around French territory, taking victory points. And the rest of these guys will filter into the area, providing reinforcements, getting more territory, and so on. You take some territory as well, and this should let us defeat France relatively quickly. Now, I have not done this before because I didn't know if I would have a successful landing and take a lot of territory quickly, now I can start justifying my next war goals, because I am a fascist country at war with a major nation, so I can justify very, very quickly. We are already at war with Yugoslavia, Romania and Czechoslovakia. We could go after Belgium, of course, but Belgium and Netherlands, they have a good chance of joining the Allies. I think we'll go after Switzerland and Austria, so we can cut through here, getting to the Balkans. So let's 
quickly justify on Switzerland. Just 10 days. Why did you stop? Drive. And you guys just make sure you don't lose the port. And all will be well. Ah, the truck is under attack. Maybe take a different route. Can you do that? Everyone's super aggressive, so in a moment we'll win. Oh, right, I also have my planes here. Let's relocate them next to Paris, they'll have better coverage. I realize this is not a great supply source for such a huge army, but we're winning, aren't we? Why are you not moving? Move, move. There should be, over the aggressive stance, there should be a super aggressive stance. You just advance wherever there's room. Our allies want to join, there's no need for that. We'll go on Switzerland is ready. Let's do Austria next. Once again, you don't want to go too crazy right now, because if you generate too much world tension, the countries might just start joining the allies, which would of course be a problem. Ah, we're expanding. Excellent. I actually don't need to do manual orders, so I'm not going to, because I don't like to do that. Ah, France is about to capitulate. Let's monitor this closely, so we can get another justification in at the proper time. 96%. 100. Stop. See? 100% towards capitulation, which means at midnight they'll capitulate. My war goal on Austria is not yet ready. One day. Hmm. Almost got it. But when they capitulate, I will no longer get the justification speed bonus. So, let's start justifying. Well, they still have not capitulated. Who should we get? I will get Switzerland and Austria, Czechoslovakia and Romania and Yugoslavia. That leaves Hungary or Bulgaria or Greece as good targets in the area. We can do Hungary later, there's no rush. For that they will be fascists, so they won't join the Allies. Bulgaria is an option, but I think Greece will be best for us, because Greece makes a great subject. Oh, and they're also guaranteed by Romania. But that doesn't matter to us anymore. So let's also justify on Greece. While well, we still have the fast justification thing going on. Right, capitulate France, go. There we go. War goal on Austria is ready. France has capitulated. And, well, I would just take everything. But you guys, in a poll on YouTube social thingy on my channel, uh, have said that you prefer a puppet master Japan. Let's do that then, shall we? We might want to pass a few times to be able to get everything. So to make a puppet master Japan, we'll be satelliting whoever we can. Satellite in the Basque country. Why not? Satellite Guinea. Ivory Coast, Volta, Togo, Dahoni, Chad, very important country to satellite. Cameroon, Congo, Cambodia, Guadalupe. Kurdistan, why not? Laos, Central African Republic, Mauritania. Let's maybe start with the cheaper ones because I don't want to, you know, satellite a bigger country that encapsulates the smaller country that I haven't satellited yet. Gabon, sure. Cayenne, that's a lot of country. Djibouti, Mali, Syria, Madagascar, down here, Niger, Morocco, Tahiti, Lebanon, Syria. I miss anyone? Senegal, Tunisia, Algeria, Vietnam. Brittany, oh, right. EU4 has Brittany, so I know where it is. Corsican Republic, Occitania. And that leaves half of France with France, I guess. Let's end the turn for now. And, well, I could liberate to Syria. I don't... Haven't I released Syria? Lebanon? No, apparently not. Did I miss Syria in the first round of this? I, can, I guess I can release Syria as a puppet later. Just take this directly. And... Are, they, are there states that normally belong to France that are outside of mainland France? There are some, for sure, so I'm gonna take them all. So we have more reach around the world, although... <laughs> reach around. Uh, although I am going to leave mainland France to France. Okay, and now puppet them with what's left. Proper puppet master Japan. Now, how many subjects do I have? Basconia, sovereign state of Guinea, dictatorship, the Ivory Coast. There's a lot of them. They're going to provide us with a lot of military factories, because they should be imperial protectorates, right? Yes, imperial protectorate gives us 65% of their military industry and 25% of their civilian industry. We can also use their manpower, but we don't really need to do that. Excellent. So, all our puppets. This is gonna make the game run slowly. So I need to conquer everyone very fast, so I don't have to deal with that. Anyway, time for some more conquests. We are at war with Yugoslavia. Slavia, Romania and Czechoslovakia. We're about to attack Switzerland, Austria and Greece. So, our elite general shall be stationed over in Corsica and he will plot naval invasions from there. Let us also take our fleet, cancel all of their orders, move them to southern France. That leaves us with four unassigned armies. At least one of them will go after Switzerland. They don't really have a lot of equipment, do they? But that's gonna change soon, because we're gonna have a lot more military factories shortly. I guess sending one army there might be sufficient. Just put it on balance, because we don't want to get too exhausted in the mountains. One other army will serve as reserves for that one. Just put it here. And two additional armies are going down south to be funneled into Yugoslavia once we have a foothold there. Okay, set yourselves up properly. So yeah, France is mine. And all of their stuff. 
is mine too. Now when the day ticks over or the month, our factories should get updated. See, 81 factories already. It's not a lot. We've only gone up like 30 factories. That's not really important. Oh yeah, planes. Um, What should I do with my planes? I should assign them to deal with Switzerland. Get my guys in position and I start going to Corsica. Do I really need to put them in Corsica? Maybe mainland France would be better. No, let's send them to Corsica. Why not? It's a little bit shorter of a trip for the naval invasion. Go there, then we'll attack Yugoslavia. All right, and I should declare war on Switzerland and Austria. You guys in position yet? Almost. And I could attack more countries, but we don't want to go too crazy with the attacks because then the allies might get involved by just accepting countries into their own faction. Right, well, you guys look more or less ready. Let's declare war on Switzerland and only call in the countries I need to call in. Oh, does this count as the same war? <laughs> Apparently. All right, I call both France's to arms. Also, the proper France, that's our puppet now, has all of their fleet. Well, maybe not all of their fleet, but most of it. That's a huge fleet, and it will serve my interests. Did I lose many ships? I guess it doesn't really matter. Detached and moving to repair. Are you serious? No repairs. Help naval invasions around the area. Never repair. How do I stop them from repairing? Docked, docked, docked. Detached and moving to repair. Don't do that. Who else? Repairing. Do not repair. Damn it. Okay, I guess I guess this will work. Anyway, almost love you. Just this tank. And now you can start planning your naval invasions. We'll do it the same way. The one single marine. How oh, should we attack? I should probably Yugoslavia usually guards all of their ports, so I should land all my troops in a single province, probably just to maximize the strength of the attack. Something like this. I could assign one unit each to the other ports just in case they leave them undefended, but that is very unlikely. I guess I could also land some troops next to the port just to attack from the neighboring province, but just one each, the rest just go to the target directly. They'll get ready for the invasion now. Why are you not attacking, by the way? Oh, we're not at war with Switzerland. Do I need to redo the call to arms? What is wrong here? Something is definitely wrong. Let's do this again. Perhaps I should have declared on Switzerland right before ending the war with France. Then they would automatically be at war with them. Nope, still not working. Maybe from this interface? Okay, it separated it into two wars like that. That's fine. I can call them in from here. Japanese Ossetania. And that will work. And we're attacking. Good. Now activate the naval invasion in a week. Those are pretty weak troops attacking Switzerland, so I'm not really counting on that much here. They should break through eventually, especially with Air Force help. But my main attack avenue is supposed to be through Yugoslavia. Ah, the naval invasions are underway. Let's see if we manage to land. And I can already see all of the ports are guarded. So the invasions of Split and Podgorica will be wasted. Can I actually edit them on the fly? Will that work? Will they just go to the port? No, they will turn back. And let's see how that works out. This is looking promising, and if I can support it from the size, we should be able to land. Okay, we have landed in the provinces that do not have ports. Let's immediately support our main naval invasion from the sides. This will give us some more strength in the attack, and also the troops that might reinforce the naval invasion will try to deal with our other troops. New research slot available. Let's do construction two. And next focus, national. Just And next focus, nationalized war industry. Right, this looks like it's going to be successful in a moment. Now, do we keep grand battle plan or do we go with mass assault? I guess I'll keep grand battle plan. I think I have a good advisor for that. Yeah, grand battle plan expert. So I'll bank some points until we can use that. For now let's do professional officer call. Any progress in Switzerland? Not really. And we have landed in Yugoslavia. Excellent. Cancel all your current orders. Bring the entire army to Yugoslavia. Secure a proper foothold. You land in the port. Are you on your way? Why are you not on your way? Don't worry about supply. I'm telling you to not worry about it. And the two armies from the south of France as well. Go, reinforcements are on their way. Oh, we have Air Force stuff. Hmm. Let's do air crew surveys, why not? I'm not activating the attack on this first army yet. I want them to secure the area first. Just make sure you land properly. Actually, I can speed up to five. Should be no harm in that. How are we doing on gun production? Pretty well. It will get much better as our subjects develop. They will use their own focus trees to, you know, get more factories. And each of them will get more factories. Thus, we will have a steady increase in this amount. We could go after Italy, but uh, they are about to be our ally. Anyways, let's continue fighting Yugoslavia. I have my war goal on Austria. Let's make sure to not forget it. 21st of November. And my troops have almost arrived. Once they do, I guess I can just switch them to normal. And we can start the battle plans now. Don't be too aggressive. 
It is difficult terrain after all, so I don't want to go full aggressive. And Germany is sending the land lease. Okay, supply will be an issue, but we will soon have three ports, which should be enough. Supply is always an issue for me with the tactics I employ. But once again, combat is my least favorite part of this game. Oh, France is sending help. Nice. Oh, got split. That is two ports. Supply should be much better now. We are using a lot of oil. So let's do fuel refining too. Oh, you can actually acquire more territory. We have more troops than they do, so a long frontline is beneficial to us. I guess I can also go aggressive by now. That's better. I do tend to go aggressive all the time, but uh, sometimes it's a huge waste of resources. Ah, let's uh, get an infantry expert. That's gonna help us tremendously. We can afford one. And we're getting into Yugoslavia. Did I miss my war? God damn it. I missed my war goal on Austria. That's gonna cost me stability and war support. Also, it was pretty stupid. Make sure it doesn't happen again. As we get our war goal on Greece, I'll try to do Austria again, but uh, Germany might snag them up. We'll see. And I comment on sure. Why not? I don't really need Austria, but our borders would be cooler. We have enough points to get another decision on the rivalry between mm, our military and our navy, but, well, more specifically, our army and our navy. Um, but six months have not passed yet. A bit later then. Go for Belgrade. Nationalize war, industry, and we can do national defense state, which gives us total mobilization. It is wonderful for our industry, but pretty bad for our manpower. No matter, we have other ways of increasing manpower. This is going splendidly. Justification on Greece is ready. Let's try that justification on Austria once again. It's gonna take a while. It's fine. I'll just go to Jostovaka first, although attacking them from two sides would be easier. Once again, two months to attack Greece, and that is Yugoslavia. Now, with Yugoslavia, if you're conquering them and you're doing puppets, it's important to actually not puppet Yugoslavia. Why? Well, because Yugoslavia... Actually, let's pass a few times so I have enough to do everything. Um, because Yugoslavia has some events that can pull us into a conflict with people we don't want to be pulled into a conflict with. So, release Kosovo, Transylvania, Macedonia, Herzegovina, Montenegro, Slovenia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, and Croatia. Now, this leaves us with a bit of territory, but we can sell it Serbia, and that actually deals with the entirety of Yugoslavia, giving it all to us as puppets, doesn't it? Wait a minute. Ah, okay, uh, it, they didn't get all the territory, but some of our subjects have cores here. So what I need to do now is transfer those territories to our subjects. So for example, Bosnia is called by Yugoslavia and Bosnia-Herzegovina, which means we need to find Bosnia-Herzegovina. Wait a minute, Herzegovina is... So we have both Her Herzegovina and Bosnia-Herzegovina? Did I not release the second one? Okay, this is <laughs> a little bit confusing. Let's start with Serbia. Where's Serbia? No, I did satellite both Bosnia-Herzegovina and Herzegovina and Serbia. Where is Serbia? Kosovo, Macedonia... I just didn't satellite properly for some reason. Okay, let's pass once. We can liberate the Serbia or liberate the Bosnia-Herzegovina. You know what? I'm just going to take this territory for myself and then release it as puppets. Can I do that while at war? I should be able to. Also, I was supposed to do stuff like that here as well. Let's see. Cores for Turkey and Syria. Syria and Syria. So we shall release Syria as puppet, of course. It's not going to be the right kind of puppet, but I was supposed to be the puppet master and that's what I'm going to be. Okay. Damn it, Bosnia-Herzegovina, and finally Serbia, which should have released in the initial peace deal, but for some reason it didn't. Alright, now we can continue our assault. Now I will send two armies to Romania and one army down to Greece. Activate everything. Once you're in position, I will attack Greece. Competing machine. And go. Everyone here is already at war with Romania, but we must make sure to call Macedonia into a war with Greece. Doctrines available. Hmm. Actually, what I'm gonna do is meticulous preparation here, and we're gonna do logistical focus, because I'm sticking to the current doctrine. Right, we're going into Romania. My planes are still taking care of Switzerland, which might have been a mistake in retrospect. I don't really need Austria or Switzerland, I can just go through here. But I've committed to it already, so it's fine. Expeditionary forces don't really need them, but I need to start preparing to invade the United Kingdom. And for that we will need a couple more units, because we need to do their dominions as well. Let's do one full army for now. Yeah, just give them the lowest priority. I need to focus on fighting my current war first. Also, when they all capitulate, I should get enough guns anyway. Right, we're ready to beat up Greece. Let's declare war on them. Do not call any allies. We have to do that manually. This is Macedonia. Or should it be Macedonia? I think it should be Macedonia. I think 
they prefer it with a hard K. There it is. Call them in, and we can attack from their territory. Doing quite well in Romania too. I am using up my manpower pretty quickly, but I have a lot of it. Also, if we run out, I can just use some from my puppet, or another puppet, or one of many, many other puppets. Up to 94 factories. I should do an agency. That would come in handy in the United States. I was supposed to be a puppet master though, so the spies won't do that much. But they can still help. The United States are an excellent source of manpower. And civilian factories. So it's actually better to take them directly rather than make them a puppet. Although I could go for a cobbler Russian government. Puppet Switzerland, please. As Swiss Imperial Confederation. Of course, it is an imperial protectorate of Japan. This army, get ready to beat up Austria. Once my war goes ready. You won't be needed for now. Well, I suppose I could send them to Romania. Maybe more troops would be better here. Nah, we're straining the supply anyway. Although what I could do is use them as a supplementary naval invasion of Greece. Let's do that, shall we? It won't change much in the invasion, but at least it should speed it up a little bit. I'm using weak reserve troops, but they're not that weak. They're untrained, I guess I could exercise them, but we are missing equipment right now, so it's not the best idea. Naval invasion planned. Everyone go to the port. Not sure why you follow the coast. Oh, it's mountains, that's why. It's fine. Go there and then activate the naval invasion once you are in position. Our ships are still on the mission here, so yeah, that will do. What are you guys doing in Greece? Ah, well enough. Civil war in Spain still going on. Three-way civil war this time. So as usual, because we're on historical. With my recent forays into non-historical, I keep forgetting I am on historical. And right, my planes are not currently in use in the Alpine region. I should relocate them here. I guess I could use the French expeditionary forces for my invasions. Is this mine? No, this is mine. But I can't plan the naval invasions yet. My troops are still arriving. Not doing too well. Ah, I picked the wrong port. This one is undefended. Hm. Let's just put you here then. Can you please get there quickly. Spies. Hm. I wonder if we'll succeed here. I mean, it probably won't be necessary because we're winning in the north quite decisively. But it would be of some help. In the meantime, Romania doing well enough. National Defense State, that's total mobilization, which is gonna be great for our industry, however it's gonna bring our manpower to zero. Not an issue, spiritual mobilization will bring it to 1.5, and we can also change our manpower laws once we have the necessary political power. Oh, that's, that's not the best way though, because we can just do indiscriminate conscription, which is extra 2% recruitable population. Boom. And we are currently up to 1.5, and once we finish the focus, we'll be up to 3.5. Come on, get to the port. Probably reach them from the north before they get to the port. It's hardly important. We'll have victory, that's what is important. Ah, we got the port. Okay, that means I don't need to pursue this particular naval invasion anymore. Let's cancel all their orders, make sure to land in the port that I currently own, and use a front line going for Athens. Okay. All is well on the southern front. We are using a lot of time on this, aren't we? What ships are we building exactly? Oh, I'm missing steel. We'll need to rectify that. Nothing too fancy. I guess I'll make some submarines. Submarine hull 2. Doesn't really matter which. Yeah, these are slightly better. Doesn't matter. This is just for naval dominance. Do we need a torpedo room? Ah, no naval experience. Never mind then. Let's just use the ones we have with the highest range. 2.5, kilometer 2.5, and also 2.5. The cheapest one then. Also, we'll get some steel from a subject that we conveniently have. Also, we're almost done with Greece. I need more political power. Let's get the offense specialist. I should actually wait and get the Grand Battle Plan expert. Then we can fill out the doctrines very quickly. Cryptology department. Done. Let's get our first spy. Sure, she'll do nicely. Sure. Nobody's gonna recognize her in Britain, are they? Hmm. I have stalled in Romania a little bit. Perhaps I'm being too aggressive now. We don't have supplies. If I'm not on aggressive, they'll just not move. And then I remember... Let's make them fully motorized. I probably forgot that. Won't do much to fix it, but it will help a bit. Shouldn't Greece be surrendering already? Come on, Greece. There it is. We got one gun. It's not a lot of guns, Greece. We cannot satellite anything, sadly. Let's just puppet them, as usual. Help Romania a little bit. I know, supplies are scarce. It's gonna be fine. Also, infantry expert. We'll leave this one army. No, actually, we'll send it to Austria from the south, because we're about to attack them. And deploy some troops at home. We can use them to start planning invasions on the Dominions. Let's use the French Expeditionary Force to plan a naval invasion of Canada. Doesn't really matter if it succeeds, we just need to fight. Similarly, these guys will invade New Zealand. Who is this? My subjects. Good. That's two. Next up, Australia. The Raj. Oh no, not all of them. 
just one. One is enough. British Malaya. And I guess another one for Dutch East Indies. We should deal with those as well. Because when we'll be fighting the Netherlands, so uh, well, it's gonna make it easier to get them as a subject in a peace deal, depending on the length of the war. So let's send one invasion against them as well. Who do we have left? South Africa. We got Canada, South Africa, Raj, Malaya, East Indies, Australia, and New Zealand. All right, everyone's covered. Sadly, that is six naval invasions. We should probably start investing in a better naval invasion technology. Let's uh, maybe replace the fuel technology with that one, because it's going to take a while to research it. Whoa, a long while. Could they move this up? I thought it was researchable a bit earlier. It doesn't really matter that much. We'll start researching it once I'm done with construction, I suppose. Although, to be honest, I should be able to do everything without that technology. Four units launched at appropriate ports down here might do the trick. Although I might need a mega template for that. I'll think about it a bit later. For now we have a war to win. Actually, multiple wars. Let's start decrypting the British cipher. How's the war in Romania going? Not so well in terms of supply. Not so well at all. Ah, they'll be fine. They can source stuff locally, I'm sure. Also, since I'm intending to do all these naval invasions, we'll need to detach the proper ships to do it. And this army, well this fleet, this task force has 30 submarines, which are exactly what I need. Aren't they? What's your range? Why is your range so small? Maybe I need to relocate them first. Okay, you guys just dock. Repair and all that. We'll be using this soon. Oh, and I can refit them to better models. Does it matter? Probably not. Right, uh, finish Romania off. This is taking too long. Go take the crest. It's undefended. I don't know why you're not taking it. Hindenburg disaster. Not my problem. Not my disaster. Right, we got Bucharest. Not gonna take much longer. Well, not that much longer. Now, I probably won't need this technology at all. But just in case things go terribly wrong with the United Kingdom, let's get it. Spiritual mobilization. Excellent. Now, do we need the warrior spirit? Not really. Do we need coal liquidization? No. I guess we can pretty much ignore this side of this tree for now. Let's go here and boost our army. Army expansion law. How are we doing? Mm, well enough. Justification on Austria is ready. Let's beat them up. We're going to need to call in Switzerland and Slovenia for that. This is getting more difficult with such an expanded list. Swiss Imperial Confederation. What? Did they, what did they all get called? What, what the hell happened here? Oh no, never mind. <laughs> Wrong screen. I didn't notice it switched me between the screens. Okay, what's this Slovenia actually called? Falangist Slovenia. There it is. Okay, now we can start attacking Austria. It doesn't really have an army. Not like the others do. Now, I could justify another war goal, but there's still a chance of them all joining the Allies, so I think I'm good for now. We'll deal with them, prepare to beat up the UK, and then start justifying war goals on Belgium, Netherlands, and the like. In the meantime, how's that extra fleet I sent here? They seem to be fine, more or less. But how many fleets do I need to create? We need one for Canada, one here, one here, and one here. That's four fleets, more or less. I have tons of admirals, so why not assign them? I know I'm not efficient with naval management, is just I really don't like the interface so I'm doing the bare minimum I need to do but right, you will deal with Canada you will deal with South Africa Malaya and Dutch East Indies Australia and New Zealand relocate where you're supposed to be the and moving of course they're repairing god damn it I hate this just set you to never repair. Never ever repair, please. Is that better? Moving, 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 and repairing in Provence. Detached and moving to... Re don't repair. Do not repair. Okay, let's, let's assume they're actually moving where they're supposed to move. Worst case scenario, I won't get all the dominions. Hmm, the invasion of Romania is going much slower than I would like it to. Austria, on the other hand, wonderful. We are already nearing Czechoslovakia, and we shall encounter their defense in a moment. Right, we have enough political power to do stuff. Do we have enough manpower? Do I need to mobilize more? We are mobilizing currently, so it's fine. Let's get those doctrines going, shall we? Grand Battle Plan Expert. And they are much cheaper now. Grand Battle Plan Prepared Defense. It will help a bit. That is Romania. Satellite Ukraine and satellite Moldova. And turn. Oh, why did why did Moldova not satellite? Well, Ukraine did. Oh, and Ukraine has a core here, but didn't get it. No matter, no matter. You can get this core. I will take a Serbia. You can't leave this to Romania or they will just give it to the Soviets. Now my other subjects in Transylvania has cores here. Might as well give it to them. Although Romania is actually a very good puppet. They tend to be very aggressive as a subject and they do a great job supporting their units quite often. So we might want to leave Romania with as many resources as they currently have. In Transylvania, 
can make do with what they have, I suppose. Yeah, let's leave it this way. Puppet. Of course, don't forget to puppet. And we shall release Moldova. We are the puppet master after all. Go aggressively into Czechoslovakia, please. Now, we could go after Poland from here, but we're getting dangerously close to being involved with the Allies, while not actually being prepared to invade the UK. So let's delay all such actions a little bit. Right, everybody attack, let's finish Czechoslovakia off and be done with this war. With these wars, focus on the Alpine region first. Yes, I know I'm stacking too many troops here, doesn't really matter. The lead, sure, why not? Now how Germany's gonna like not getting the Anschluss. Let's have a look at our navies, have they reached their destinations yet? They have not. Are they actually going towards their destinations? Oh, you've reached it, good. Just patrol this area, about you. You have also reached your area. Split the... Right, make sure you get enough task forces to cover the entire area. I know I don't need to do patrol, I just like it. You still need to arrive, so let's give them some time. And actually, and the big fleet here can return to port. Maybe even repair for a moment, who knows. Actually, I'm going to relocate you to the north of France. You will be needed there soon. And we do have a fleet that is not assigned. That's the extra ships we've built in the meantime. Assign them to the main one. Also, France is going to help us with naval stuff. So, um, Austria is still defending itself. And it is not doing that anymore. Almost next it. Pop it, please. Oh no, god damn it. I think I just made a big mistake because they will still get the referendum and be annexed by Germany, I think. So do watch out for that. If I made such a mistake, well, you'll know not to do it yourself and just annex them rather than do the Anschluss. Well, I'm not actually sure if they can do the Anschluss if Austria is a subject. Can we see that? Where is it? Anschluss. Requirements. Ah, okay. So this will work if they are in the same faction. If they start doing it, I can just leave the axis and all will be well. Although they might attack me afterwards. Oh no, actually, I misread this a bit. I need to be in a different faction. Yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. They will steal Austria from me. Unless I join another faction or make my own, which I could do. Maybe I should make my own faction. Just need two focuses for that. I probably should. I can always rejoin the Axis if I so choose. Also, I don't really need them anymore. I only needed them for the initial invasion. And they're helping here a bit by distracting the enemy forces. Oh, let's get some more civilian factories to Air Force in Czechoslovakia now. How are we doing on that? Well enough. Shouldn't take too long anymore. Has the fleet arrived? It has. Well, at least this particular fleet has arrived. South China Sea for you, and you guys are on your way still just a moment longer. US passes the Neutrality Act, won't help them. Two localized training centers, and get some US spies, I suppose. We'll need an elusive gentleman too. Army expansion law. Now I could boost my army, but I'm thinking don't let Austria be taken. They're still not doing the Anschluss, it should take them a little while longer, so I can just make my own faction. Oh, did they just cut me off? No. Should I just do a manual attack on Prague? This will probably work. We're much stronger. Should save some time. You guys as well. Right, so, last naval invasion force. Abort repairing? Yes, abort repairing. Those are one-use ships. Don't need them to repair. Czechoslovakia has capitulated. Excellent. I shall... Oh, why can't I release Slovakia? That's strange. Hmm, if I puppet them, so that land can still trigger, but then I can just beat up the Germans. Yeah, I'll puppet them. Whatever. Let's pop at them. Bohemian Empire. Now, we're still missing Hungary, Bulgaria and Albania from here. I could go after another country. Is Hungary fascist yet? Probably not. No, it's too early. Okay, we're done with our initial war. It took a while, didn't it? Now, let us prepare to invade the United Kingdom. You guys go to France and you will be dedicated to that one task for the foreseeable future. You guys can take on Belgium. Do I go after Bulgaria? We could. It's not that crucial though. We should probably go after the, uh, Hungary while we're still in the Axis. Ah, let's not overthink things. Let's go for Belgium. If they get guaranteed by the United Kingdom, all the better. And for Netherlands as well. We want them because they have some colonial territory that we want. And uh, if that triggers a war with the UK, all the better because we want a war with the UK now. If it doesn't, I can just keep on expanding in Europe and so on. But we do want to beat the UK relatively soon to get easy access to the United States. They will guarantee someone eventually, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's create a North American section because we want some United States Spies. We need more political power because we're moving so fast. Get in position everyone and I think it's time to exercise. Oh, doctrine available. Sure. And another one. Also, I should select a primary attack thingy. Well planned attack. That'll do nicely. And infantry offensive. We question the motives of Belgium because of course we do. Oh, we get extra planning skill for all our generals. I did not read that. That's actually quite worthwhile. I should have done that. 
earlier. Let's get some excavation. It's not really important for us, but I'm not sure what to research right now. Yeah, excavation is a bad choice. Let us not do that. I guess concentrated industry 3 instead. It is ahead of time, but it will pay for itself in time. New infantry expert. You can become a regrouping specialist. Do we have one? Oh, okay. okay close this. We have a logistics guy, but not a regrouping specialist. Okay, this is excellent. Army regrouping specialist will hire you when we have the points. And you can become infantry or army regrouping guy. We have both of these, so no. Okay, where are you? Why is this navy not doing stuff? You're still repairing or something? Oh, uh, right. I forgot to split the task forces. That's my fault. We'll be better now. Yep, much better. Let's see. You don't seem to have the proper orders. Oh, you have the orders, just don't have the range, but you had it when I was planning the thing. Strange. What if I split you in half? Maybe some of you have the range? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay, I was building new submarines. Maybe they can do that. Looks like they can. Will they manage to do so? Mm, maybe. Uh, in the meantime, just to make sure we can actually perform this naval invasion, let us build ports here. I'm not sure which location is better. Let's just do both. We have a lot of civilian industry. That's not an issue. Oh, this gives me a bonus for transport models. I should have pursued this perhaps. It's not that important. Let's do a... Mm, let's first check what focus the Germans are doing. Call the quotization. That's fine. Let's do the core prosperity sphere. I'm not sure if this uh, get, boots me out of the axis, but at least this will give us the rule to create factions. I can rejoin the axis and then possibly create my own faction if I need that to prevent the Anschluss. We just have to watch Germany closely to know. Hmm. Seems like the proposer of this challenge was correct. The UK is not guaranteeing anyone. Provisional government of the Mariana Federation. Sure! I am the puppet master after all. What is this? Or right, does the one still missing uh, the... the ships. Well, when we build a port here or here, it will be fine. Okay, so how many naval invasion orders do we have prepared? Six, so I can do four with this guy. Let's get the most experienced units to do it. If we land at least one, it's a success. If we can't, we'll wait for the other naval invasions to succeed. Maybe this guy now. And then just assign more naval invasions. Should we do Dover as well? Maybe here. Here's better. Okay, activate when ready. Hirohito denounces Dutch ideals. Uh, when I was doing a quick test without, you know, getting to beat up everyone, just finishing, just a very quick test, uh, I had the Netherlands join the Allies. So if that happens, that's actually good. It will get me the Brits faster. I could go after the Brits right now, but I think having the Netherlands and Belgium secured hmm, will be more pleasant. And I'm counting on one of them joining the Allies. Did I say Axis earlier? I might have. I don't know. It's getting late. No, I do not need paramilitary training in any of these subjects. Although I can prioritize aircraft stuff or form raiding regiments. Hmm. I guess I could get more Marines with this. Not that I really need Marines at the moment. Well, let's save the political power for other stuff. We did the two most important ones. One giving us uh, free factories and the other giving us manpower. Time for the best guns. Well, no. The better guns, not the best ones. Still, it's a significant upgrade. Oh, right. One thing. One thing that's a problem. If I leave the faction, my naval invasion, which uses a French unit, will be cancelled. Let's try and replace that unit. You go and garrison the area. Quickly, please. Am I still making the North American section? No, we have that. Let's get a US agent. Go build spy networks. I'm planning to do a coalition government in the US, that would be quite nice. Ah, the Belgium war goal is ready. Uh, where is my big main fleet? Here you are. Support naval invasions here. And let us attack Belgium. Also, did the ports in Madagascar finish? Yes, they did, and the ships finally have the range, and the invasion is ready to go. Good. It's important to have at least some fighting with all the British subjects when you fight Britain. This way we can annex them all. Oh, right, I declared war on Belgium. I forgot to call France in. There we go. France is in this war now. Will Belgium join the Allies? The world tension should allow it. It seems you were right. The Allied AI seems slightly broken. Those are not high level troops. They're not doing super well, but they're doing well enough. Oh, right, I forgot the planes, as always. There you go. Do all sorts of air missions, whatever you want. Alright, so I did the Global Prosperity Sphere, and I think that booted me out of the Axis. Yes, it did. I could just disband this faction, rejoin the Axis, if I, and if I need a faction, I can just create a new one. So let's do just that. Dismantle that, rejoin the Axis, request this unit as an expeditionary force. 27! That's nice. Make sure your naval invasion actually happens. Alright, we stand together and all that. So, UK, I would like you to join the fighting. And if Germany starts doing Ganschus, we can just leave the faction again. Maybe we should go after Poland. 
I should guarantee Poland. Chinese United Front, not my problem. At least not yet. Oh, Poland's going fascist. Are the Germans doing that? They might be. We don't really want to fight China. None of these are actually enticing right now. We will want supremacy of will. Let's do that. Chinese front, that's fine. Really, UK is not guaranteeing anyone. This this is this is confusing. I guess we'll attack Poland next. Why not? Although I should just probably attack Britain on its own. It's time. Belgium capitulates. Now we're gonna satellite Burundi and Rwanda and Zaire and part of the rest. Now we beat up the Netherlands, and when you're done with the Netherlands, I think I'll just attack the British. It's time to beat the British up. Just a location of war goal on me. Kingdom of Hungary. Seriously? Are you doing that? No. They're probably... Yes, they are. Huh. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Could dispatch an army right now, but I have bigger fish to fry than Hungary. All right, I'm out of fuel because my ships and stuff. Let's just buy it from one of our subjects. I could do synthetic refineries and all that, but it's not necessary. Uh, who has a lot of oil? Romania has oil. Here you go. Get me oil. Excellent. Just one factory cost. And I might get more from the Netherlands once we subjugate them. I fulfilled imports. That's fine. France, give me more steel. We actually have enough guns for everybody now. Time to expand the army. This should be enough for another army group. Then make the precise calculations. But I do have some troops ready. It'll be okay. So if they don't join the Allies, do we attack UK or do we go after Poland? Should probably attack the UK, it's the wisest choice. We can take them over and get all their subjects as well. But also the ones stationed in France should be concentrated around the ports for easier access. And you can go to Belgium, because why not? For easier access to Britain. And now I can send some troops to secure Hungary if they decide to attack uh, Czechoslovakia, sorry, in the Bohemian Empire. Um, they can't really do much damage. Oh, we can assume leadership of the Axis. Okay, uh, you know what? If I can do that, then perhaps uh, them taking over Austria is not such a big deal. Okay then, hey Germany, you're my... <coughs> Female dog now. We're we'll going on the Netherlands. Go. Don't call anyone in but Belgium. Rex is Belgium. Sure. Why not? More research. Well, this is very much ahead of time. It boosts everything else up, but so expensive. I'll be done with uh, this run by then, I guess. Let's just boost our economy a bit. Come on, Belgium. Also, more spy stuff, maybe. We almost have the British cipher. Let's do United States next. Okay, they clearly do not want to get involved. Brits, I mean. Let's see if our Dutch East Indies invasion has launched. They have not called their subject in yet. I need to wait for them to call them in. I can just declare war. That's fine. Naval invasion is launching. Great. Now to make sure we don't defeat the Netherlands until there's some fighting and at least two weeks pass. So which one is the attacking group? You are. Be very cautious. Actually, stop the invasion altogether for a moment, until the end of February, and until there's some fighting down here. Ah, damn it, I told you to stop. No matter, no matter, I can just satellite the Dutch East Indies from here by transferring the subject, so it's fine. Satellite Suriname and the Netherlands Antilles. And I don't have enough score, right, so just do the Dutch East Indies in the first round, pass, satellite the other bits, and pop it. Don't have enough score again, and pop it. And done, right? Will they get all the territory automatically? They should. Yes, they did. All right, that's done. Okay, done. Time for the United Kingdom, I suppose. 100 days to justify, sure. Do we do anyone else in the meantime, or do we just beat out the Brits? I think we just beat out the Brits. 100 days is a lot. Sure, we want, we want Ceylon. We really want Ceylon. Give it to us. And I suppose I can justify another one in the meantime. Although fighting the Brits will take a while. Well, but uh, justifying two simultaneously is better. On the other hand, they are a major nation, so when I'm fighting them, I can just justify one after the other very quickly. So let's just do this one for now. Also, since my naval invasion against the Dutch East Indies is no longer necessary, where is it? Delete all their orders. This gives me two things I can do. One, attack them manually, British Malaya that is, which means I no longer need this naval invasion either, which gives me two new naval invasions I can do. So let's expand our attack on the UK with an attack on Dover, and another one in between these two ports here. Or maybe not, maybe here, and you can maybe run to Bristol. That could do it. Yeah, that'll do it. Next focus, Supremacy of Will. That's actually a very big bonus. Japan has a very powerful focus tree. Anyway, let's continue. Who should we attack other than the United Kingdom? Surely Spain, once they're done with their civil war. They'll need two armies for that, I think. Or maybe we can deploy extra armies. Yeah, we sure can. All right, 
let's make a new army group. What I should do is go into the templates and duplicate this as a non-reserve template. Maybe even make it 10 with... No, 12 is fine. The same template, just not reserved. So the ones that are actually on the front lines are not reserves. So all of you guys. And from these, well, it depends on who will actually be fighting. So once we attack the United Kingdom, we will have very quick justifications. So I'm thinking Bulgaria, Hungary, possibly Albania. No, Albania is guaranteed by Italy, so let's ignore that. Spain very soon, then Portugal, perhaps Poland, Denmark, maybe the Baltic states, stuff like that. Maybe Turkey, because we have access to Turkey from multiple sides. Phil Marshall. Oh, you advanced to level 5. Excellent. Shall now be a field marshal. And some generals. Just the highest level ones. And that's a fortress buster. Let's take him, maybe. Or the infantry guy. Mm, fortress buster, maybe. Right. So I'm thinking quick and easy targets first. Let's do Bulgaria and Hungary. I think there's no need to attack from all sides. It's gonna be more efficient if I just attack from one side, only calling that country in. And they will have to guard all the sides. So for Bulgaria, for example, we'll attack from Greece. No, actually let's do something landlocked, as Greece could be invaded by the UK. No, Greece is very good as a subject. They can get aggressive. Greece is fine. And you guys can attack from Romania only. The front lines will get messed up, but that's not a big issue. After that, we can do Spain. Spain is easier to do once you actually own Gibraltar, but uh, this way we'll have them sooner. And let's dedicate two armies to that. I could just get them into my faction, but I can make them a subject easily, so that's superior. And then Luxembourg, I suppose. What else? We'll decide later. Probably Poland. How ready are we? One of the naval invasion dudes is not ready. Why? Oh, still preparing. That's fine. So get in position and exercise. We need to. Nationalist victory in Spain. So we'll start with Spain. We might join the Allies when we do that. Shouldn't be a problem. Cipher for the UK is decrypted. Let's remember to use it this time. I can hope. Is Italy actually going to join our faction? Invite a faction? No. I wonder. When Germany does their thing, where is it? Hmm. I probably made a mistake. I should have delayed taking over the faction until Italy joined us. This alliance with Italy is blocked off for now. That's just because they don't have enough manpower, perhaps. We'll see. We'll see. It's not that important. I don't need Italy. I can beat them up later if I need them. I need more spies. Political power is pretty scarce. Yeah, right. I will need more planes in England. How ready are we to beat them up? You know, I could just continue attacking Imperial people around Europe, like Spain, for example, without messing with the Brits. But if I take them now, I can easily destroy the United States. Also, I should start preparing collaboration government operation against the United States. So when I have the free agents, the operation will be ready. Also, prioritize operations together with garrisons. We denounce British ideals. Tea should be green and not black. More decryption. All the decryption. So I could become the spy master. Would that give me an additional spy? I don't think so. Because they're all puppets. Only Germany is not a puppet. So that wouldn't be enough countries to give me a spy, I think. What we need is an elusive gentleman. And again, the spy master thing might be worth a try. Also, France is giving me lots of troops. Actually, those are all expeditionary forces. I'm just going to... Should I send them home? Or use them to reinforce my own units? I can use them to reinforce. Oh, you don't have troops. There you go. I have a French one. Supremacy of will. Very nice boost. Tripartite pact. Not really that important. None of these are necessary. I can just do regular war goals for them. Small arms modernization is nice, but if I delay it a bit, we can use it to get the best guns. Well, I would have to delay it quite a lot. Sure, let's do it. Let's make sure to use the bonus on the proper thing. So do I have any planes in reserves? Maybe we should deploy more. No. Ah, this will be enough. How are the logistics? We have a lot of infantry equipment in reserves. I might want to start moving into making support equipment and outfitting our troops with support. So all future military factories go into support equipment. Maybe just 50 for that, 50 for that, and the rest for more guns. Should work out. Then you can start giving our guys scouts and engineers and all that. How ready are we? I think we're pretty much ready. If things go badly, I'll have to redo my naval invasion and, and the like. Let's ignore the Chinese United Front completely. We have territories which have a lot more factories. China is great for manpower, but they have manpower. Bulgaria approaches the German Reich. Do you want to join my faction? Not really, no. Our war goal is ready. Also, not sure if you've noticed, but our factories are up to 222. The power of puppets. Hey, I guess there is no reason to delay this. Let's declare war on the Brits immediately. Also, I'm going to call in France because they do have a fleet that can help. Now, for their subjects. Canada, do not, I repeat, do not click declare war. 
war here. Why? Well, because they're guaranteed by the United States. But they're also a puppet. All the uh, dominions are puppets. So what we can do is actually manually immediately declare war on all the other ones except for Canada. So let's do that. So we start doing these invasions as soon as possible and maybe free up some slots for the invasion of UK itself. Same for the Raj. Also, do check whose territory this is. This is our direct territory, so we can advance from it. Here, on the other hand, this is Japanese East Indies. We need to call them to arms in order to fight British Malaya. Oh, the problem is this is Malayan territory, but British troops there. Okay, no matter. We can deal with that. Also, declare war on Malaya directly. Let's have our troops walk into their territory. Maybe that will count as actually fighting Malaya. A naval invasion could work here as well, um, but this way we don't have to waste a naval invasion invasion slot. Now Australia declare war and New Zealand declare war. Now, let's check. All our naval invasions should launch. Let's make sure we check that. Pause the game, maybe slow it down a bit. And yes, they're launching. These are the ones against Britain proper. We have to wait for them to call Canada in. This will be a bit of an issue, but I think they will call them in. As for the others, let's see. Why are you not launching? We have insufficient naval supremacy. Okay then, I might have to send more ships here. These guys should be progressing in a moment. I can actually manually tell them to. It doesn't really matter uh, if they succeed. There needs to be some direct fighting between us and Malayan troops. And you have you launched? Yes, you have. Okay, that's very good. Now, let's observe. See if we can actually land in Britain. Okay, they have called in Canada. Excellent. Let's see. Did you launch the invasion? Yes. So South Africa is the only one we're missing right now. Do I have any unassigned fleets I could send there? Oh, I could have just relocated the naval invasion to go from here, maybe I should do that. Just seven days of preparation and let's edit the orders on this naval group. Perhaps we can launch the invasion now. It will take a week for them to prepare, hopefully that will be fine. Are you moving? Yes, you're moving. There's fighting here, there's fighting in Malaya. I'll wait for this British unit to leave so we can attack the Malayan unit or maybe an empty province, that would be even better. What is this? Oh, an expeditionary force. Let's send it over there. Okay, everything looking fine in the colonies. Let's go back to Britain proper. Yay, war sport. Actually, we do have some political power. We could invest. I wanted to wait for an elusive gentleman, but I think we need the boost in our attack here. Let's get uh, the army offensive specialist. He is weak, but even 5% helps a lot. And the regrouping guy, because he's just 50 points. We can get logistics later. Right. Looks like Dover is undefended, which is excellent. And Portsmouth too. Can we get them both? All right, we got Dover. That is wonderful. Let us immediately take an entire army from the north of France. All right, I'm uh, forgetting. We are supposed to be justifying war goals since we are in this war now. Now the people we attack will join the allies, but that's not really an issue. Let's go with Bulgaria. 10 days to justify. Perhaps I should start with Spain. We'll do Spain next. This army go here immediately. And another one. That is two full armies landing in Dover. For now that is enough. All right, I did not put them in the port. That's a mistake. But they're on the way. And Portsmouth is also ours. Yeah, I said them on garrisons, but not just ports it seems. Oh, whatever, it's fine. And you guys go to Portsmouth. Our armies should be strong enough to hold it for the required time. And finally, the remaining troops from the naval invasion shall also go to Portsmouth. We have two ports and we're bringing four full armies there. The only possible failure here is if uh, we are unable to hold a port until the reinforcements arrive. And that seems unlikely. Yeah, our guys are on their way. Also landed here. Perhaps we can get Bristol. I could send one more army there. Although it doesn't seem necessary. And they are landing. Okay, I won't get Bristol, at least not immediately. But I have landed huge amounts of troops in Britain. Essentially, the UK is done for. I have also landed in Canada. Excellent. We need uh, two weeks at least since the moment all of their subjects entered the war. However, I did not track the date. So let's count from now to the 21st. We don't want to end the war too quickly because we want all of their subjects to be in the conference. Also, maybe we can justify on a couple more countries in the meantime. No. South Africa, are you launching? Still not in position, but almost prepared. Will you have enough naval supremacy? Yes, okay. The last naval invasion is underway. We have landed in New Zealand, run around taking their territory. These troops are to be sacrificed, sadly. But Malaya, oh, you go and take their province. That should be sufficient. Now, back to Britain. Hmm. This unit is gonna die, sadly. All the others here seem to be... What did I just do? Moved them around for no reason. Um, doesn't really matter. Go on, take territory. 
you have two ports, you are set. The Brits have insufficient forces to stop you. You know what I should do? I cancelled all their orders, it's gonna be easy to manage if I just do an army group level order. We got two ports, we're going to attack from them. Be super aggressive, you can afford to. Uh, they don't have full organization, it doesn't really matter, as long as we have supplies here. That's a lot of offers to join the war, but I don't need anyone else. Okay, my guess, let's do this. Everything is under control, you guys expand into the British lands, they stand no chance against the might of the Empire of Japan. Oh, I'm about to get London. Make sure to not capitulate them too quickly. I guess uh, the ideal situation here would be to get like, half of Britain and then pause there. Bulgaria justification is complete. Who else have we not conquered yet? Albania is guaranteed by Italy, so we'll have to leave them alone. Although, will they join me? Invite to faction. I don't think they will, but I can take them at a later date with Poland. Or just on their own. Germany will help me most likely. Now, uh, next up, let's do Hungary or Spain. Spain is weak, and the longer I delay, the stronger they'll be. There'll be some trouble in North Africa, possibly, but uh, let's just do Spain. They are fascists, so I could theoretically invite them to a faction later on, but it's better to just make them a subject. So, there we go, for Spain. In the meantime, Britain, yeah, we got London. This is excellent. Now, let's have a look at the other areas. Canada is being invaded properly, and we have landed in Australia. So, there will be some combat with them, just run around get some territory that maybe they'll kill you it doesn't really matter scatter to the winds divine wind is with you or whatever uh, let's just go this way south africa have we landed yet not yet but once we do and run around here a little bit our side objectives will be complete well not side objectives secondary objectives side objective is justifying war goals on other countries i suppose you go there we oh, yeah, spies i need more spies oh i prepared the coalition government against um the americans already let's uh launch it don't really need spy network in the UK that much anymore. Cypher, of course, the Cypher. Right, let's uh, launch this operation. We'll need a third spy soon and activate the Cypher against the United Kingdom. That's gonna help us a little bit. Not that we're having any trouble, but we already poured our resources into acquiring the Cypher. Why not use it? Hmm. Perhaps passive defense will do. The Imperial Army is progressing unimpeded. The Japanese army marching on Swansea. Our fleet will take a beating and most likely will lose most, if not all of it. How are we doing on that fleet? Yeah, you know, we lost quite a lot of ships, I think. Not sure anymore, because I don't remember how many we had. But uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. France is helping us with that also. Because this is the last moment we will actually need the fleet. We can use it later, but we won't need it anymore. Right, how far is Britain from capitulation? Still far. That's fine. Hmm. We actually took some Malayan victory points, it seems. Hmm. I can use my navy experience. Let's do that. It doesn't really matter what we choose. Sure, let's do naval reform. Why not? Let's do air power. Projection here. Also, our Air Force can actually move to Britain now to get better coverage. The Brits have more planes, but maybe this a little bit will help. How is this going? Well, it's going well. Let's see if we've landed in South Africa. We have, in fact, landed in South Africa. Okay, that means all of the Dominions will be in the peace deal, and we should be able to annex all of that, or pop it, to be precise. Go for Cardiff and Swansea, and the Rexham. Why not? Justification on Spain is ready. Um, I did not attack Bulgaria yet. You know what? Just stop the exercise. I did not attack Bulgaria yet. I'm not sure I want them joining the Allies. Maybe I do. I don't really know. I will attack soon. For now, let's uh, justify on Hungary. Yeah, let's let our guys regain organization, then we can attack. The most important thing here is not when we attack, but uh, to remember to keep justifying war goals because they're cheap and quick right now. That was our progress. 58% towards capitulation. Not much longer. Justification against us by Hungary. Ha. We will do a preemptive strike on them, because we can. Are we about to win? What if I take Liverpool now? It might be better to not win just yet, just to get more war goals, but uh, I don't have to delay this too long. We got Liverpool. Is that enough? Almost enough to capitulate them. Let's watch this so we don't miss our chance to maybe justify another war goal. 86%. Germany claims Memo, not my problem. Our small ally, the Germans, will expand a little bit. Uh, justification on Hungary is complete. So we have a war go on Bulgaria, on Hungary, and on Spain. I think I'll delay my attack a little bit. At least until we beat the Brits. Should we invade Poland next? Perhaps Portugal. I think Portugal. And let's also do Poland. Simultaneously, it's gonna take longer, but uh, we will beat Britain in a couple of days. And then our boost to war goal justification speed would be gone. I think just one more place with a visible victory point, like Cockermouth. Sure. 
Cockermouth, wonderful name for a city. Cockermouth will be the death of Britain. Oh, they have not surrendered yet. Oh, miscalculated, 99% there. And there we go. The United Kingdom has capitulated. As you can see, all of their dominions are in the peace deal as intended. Okay then. Um, perhaps I should pass a couple of times, just to make sure I have enough score. Puppet Canada, New Zealand, Satellite Samoa, where will that be? Oh, the islands here, that's fine. I'll Satellite in the first round and then Puppet in the second. Satellite the Solomon Islands and Papua New Guinea, British Malaya, Puppet, British Raj. Oh, there's a lot of satellites here. Satellite Bangladesh, Pakistan and Burma, South Africa. Satellite Namibia. Right, let's end the turn. Then we can puppet the remainder of New Zealand, Australia, and Raj. Puppet master, after all. Oh, wait a minute. Do the others have cores here? Pakistan has cores here. I don't want the Raj to be too strong. No, oh, did Pakistan not get released properly? Well, it looks like we only got Bangladesh. Maybe that's because I did them in the same round and they have overlapping cores. Might have been a mistake. Well, I guess I'll take the Pakistani cores myself. Well, that's a claim, not a core. And release them manually. That'll do. And Puppet of the rest. South Africa. Release Namibia. Good. Puppet of the rest. Now for Britain. Let us satellite Zambia, Malawi, Qatar, Gambia, Sierra Leone, Bahamas, Tobago, and so on. You know, I'm just gonna release everyone and their little empire. There's so many countries, the game is gonna slow down like crazy. Malta, Malawi. Oh, why can't I? Oh, right, I clicked liberate accidentally. That's why this all got weird. Palestine, Palestine, Israel, Kingdom of Jordan, Botswana, everyone. We just settled lighting everyone. Egypt, Sri Lanka, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. End the turn and we puppet the rest, acquiring the third large fleet in the world. Essentially there are five large fleets when you start the game. There's Japan, France, Italy, United Kingdom and the United States. And the Soviet Union also has one but it's not as good. So we are about to have three out of the five. Puppet the United Kingdom and Okay, did all of this go to them? Yes, it did. Now, all the external territories that don't have their cores, I'm going to take for myself. Oh, I don't have enough uh, points, apparently. Pass. Yeah, they don't have cores there, so it doesn't matter who holds it. And, for example, Gibraltar is an excellent way to attack Spain more easily. Even more easily. And the turn done. Japan has grown once again. Okay, excellent. Let's look at our colonial empire. Maybe look at the factions map mode. Axes now have the color of Japan. And the axes are everywhere. I guess I could attack Ireland next. Maybe we should make another army group. How are we doing on logistics? Well, I do have the guns for it. And the manpower. Oh, Luxembourg. I completely forgot about Luxembourg. I was supposed to attack them as well. They even have an army here. Oh, well, maybe the Germans can have them. Oh, we'll just leave them for later. So this army will go to the Spanish border here. And one of the armies from the Spanish border, this one, will cancel the orders and relocate to Gibraltar. And we will start attacking people soon. Now, our field marshal is level 6. Any special traits? Not really. Organization first then. That's good too. Time to go to America. Unitary Canada is going to be our invasion launching spot for the United States. Uh, how are we doing on that operation? Should become a spy master. I don't think it will give me an extra agent. Oh, it did. Hmm. Well, that's excellent. I want to do collaboration governments in the United States because uh, then we can um, actually make a collaboration government. So, a puppet. That is much better than regular puppets. Oh, we lost one unit. Let's take an expeditionary force from somewhere. We do have our subjects sending them out in droves, don't we? No, actually, I could just form extra armies out of these. Romanian mountaineers, why not? You're going to America. So this one army group is more than enough to beat up the United States, but we will have to split them into two groups because of the lakes here. You can just do one front line, not a problem. Which one's the elite unit? You are the elite unit. You go from here, you go from here. The remaining three on this large and long border. We'll have to go all the way down to California. Not really a problem, just a bit of a hassle. And once we get over the lakes, we can just replace all of this with one army group level order. Okay, excellent. Go, get in position. Kill the United States. We don't really have to go into Alaska. They don't have a lot of troops there. Even if they do, the movement speed here is so slow that I'll have all of the United States before they can get out of Alaska. Now let's gather up all the discarded units that were sent to deal with former British puppets. Now we have the Japanese Raj. Oh, right, I was supposed to release someone. Let us release Pakistan. Oh, seriously, we have 43% cooperation there. How? This is weird. Well, if we have so much cooperation there, I don't need to release them. I can just wait for them to form a collaboration government. That's gonna be much better. Although I don't understand how I have so much collaboration. Yeah, well, not gonna argue with a good thing. Now, in the meantime, let us organize another 
army group. How many troops do we have in the field? 62. Let's train another 58. And that will be our third army group. Those are expeditionary forces, so not as short to, you know, rely on as regular forces, but they can, they can do well enough. I can also just ask my subjects for more troops, and I wouldn't have to produce so many. Although, no, let's leave it alone. They'll just provide as many as they want to provide, and it's fine. So, army group number three, Field Marshal Hisaichi Terauchi, replaced by Takashi Saki in his army. And as Japan, we have an excellent general staff from the beginning, lots of very good generals, so we're just assigning them where they're supposed to go. And we have enough for another army group if we wanted another one, but that would be unnecessary. This guy can become an infantry dude. Let's make him one. If he advances to level 8, we'll just replace the one we have with him. But are we good to go? More or less. We have a month until the Bulgarian war goal expires. Although I see no reason to delay. Let's declare war on Bulgaria and call in Greece. Bulgaria can actually get quite militaristic, but one army of our reserve forces should be sufficient to kill them. Actually, since they are on the front lines, uh, I should not have them as reserves. Obvious. Switch to the 12 template, which is the same template, just not reserve. And my guys are on their way to the new world, to subjugate it, of course. Small arms modernization complete. And we could switch our infantry to bicycle battalions. That would make them move faster. Do we want that to happen? I think we do, because it's just so cool. It will require some army experience to do the changes, so I'm not sure if it's worth it. Let's get another American spy, and the justification is complete for Portugal. Well, there's no need to rush. Let's do Bulgaria for now, then Hungary, and just cascade the wars. So I'm not sure, have we arrived in Gibraltar yet? No, not yet. So we are justifying on Poland, which hurts me as a Polish man, but the subjugating everyone is the only way. We are a puppet master after all. Alright, I guess there is no reason to delay our attack on Hungary, let's declare war. Make sure to call Romania in to the proper war. I can't call Romania in to fight Hungary without calling them to fight Bulgaria for some reason. That is unfortunate. Let's wait until we kill Bulgaria then. You, go to Sofia. Why are you not advancing? Oh, right, they're not on aggressive. Everyone, be on aggressive. New land doctrine. Right, Bulgaria should not take much longer. You take this victory point, Sofia's about to be taken, should capitulate shortly. Is this sufficient? Almost. Take Varna and that might suffice. Oh, this is empty. Kill there. This routed me in Sofia, but it doesn't matter. We will win before it becomes a problem. And actually, I can call Romania in now. Both wars, why not? I can now attack from this side too. Okay, good. Now deal with Hungary. Also, Air Force, I do have it somewhere. Britain, sure, deal with Hungary. Yeah, one more victory point and Bulgaria will capitulate. My troops in Sofia should survive until then. Should. Yeah, we're about to connect to them. Good. Hungary not offering much resistance, as expected. They do not have time or resources to build an army that could resist us. We are ready to declare war. And Bulgaria capitulates. We are ready to declare war on Spain. Let's do that. No need to call Southern Fronts. See how you call it again? Cetania. Sure, all the wars, why not? As well as Basconia. Spain will not resist us, they didn't have much time to build up after the war, but attacking from two sides is going to be even better. Also, maybe don't leave the port alone. After that, we can take care of Portugal. In the meantime, our troops are arriving in the United States, but I have not even started justifying the war goal. Bulgaria. Pop it. Thank you. Not freeze up an army. Yeah, I do hate when the front lines do this. Rearrange themselves automatically. You can even see an end point to edit this. But what I'm gonna do is just cancel the entire front line, repaint it this way. And you guys can destroy this little pocket and then get ready to fight Poland. It's still 1938. Deployed some extra units and the new army group is ready. I guess I could just use them to form an attack force against Poland. It's gonna take them a while to arrive though. It's just like this. Extra aggressive, please. Ah, see? And the bloody front line repainted itself again. I do dislike this. Maybe we can get a shorter line like this. Maybe this will work. Although we're almost done with Hungry Budapest is ours. Just maybe... Ah, decrypted the United States. Excellent. And we can get a new spy. Let's get a US spy. Should have one ready. Yes, there he is. Okay, go somewhere that will be late to be conquered. But here. And if we start running out of manpower, we just need to do women in the workforce. Ah, excellent. No resistance from Spain. At least no significant resistance from Spain. All this against Hungary got repainted yet again. Don't worry. I think they should capitulate now. There we go. Hungary will be our puppet. Like 
everyone else. We should be about to finish our war goal, yeah, 16 days. Okay, let's get the two armies that are currently free, send them to help this invasion of Poland. Sorry, Germany, you're not getting a bit of Poland this time. Where are those planes? Time for Spain. The United States don't stand a chance, but I still need to justify a war goal on them. I could go after Mexico at the same time. They are guaranteed by the United States, after all. They are democratic. Yeah, perhaps we should. Also, since Philippines will be involved, I'm going to deploy a couple more troops and have them take positions on the home isles, just in case someone has the bright idea to invade. 72. Running out of manpower. We'll need to do something about that very soon. I mean, I could use subject manpower, but that's extra micromanagement that I don't want to do. See how slowly the game is running, even though it's just 1938. That's because of all the subjects we have created. So if you don't want to, your game to run slowly, don't do a puppet master run. Justification on Poland is complete. Are we ready to attack? Yes. Yes, we are. Let's declare war immediately. I still have a war goal in Portugal. Let's make sure we don't forget that. Ten more days on that one. We need to reorganize our troops for the attack on Portugal a little bit. Anyway, let's make sure we call in the Bohemian Empire, as well as Romania. Oh, right, and Ukraine. Ukraine and Romania and Bessarabia. Okay, go. Poland should be stronger than Spain, but we have committed lots of troops here. So it won't really be an issue. Now let's take this army, get half of you on the border with Portugal. To be honest, I should have two armies down in Gibraltar and just one army in the north. It would have worked out better. Oh, well, I guess I can still relocate one of you. Then again, why are you not advancing? There's no defense here. Just go. Ah, we're not currently justifying the war goal. So it is time to... Let's do Mexico. 100 days. That's about right. We'll get the United States in that time. Although, although my collaboration government operations, only one of them has completed. Well, no, it has not completed yet. It's going to be a bit of an issue. I would like at least two of them to complete before I take over the United States. No matter. We'll just delay our final thrusts against the US if we need to. In the meantime, let us declare war on Portugal. We don't really need to call anyone in because we have a direct connection here. Hmm, sabotage. Chinese provocation. I don't really care. Not currently interested in fighting China. I could get an annex war goals, but I don't think I would need to act on them. Or we could demand an apology. You know what, let's mobilize our troops. I don't know how long these war goals will last, but that's an excellent opportunity to find out. Looks like they're not going to expire, which is great. I can just use them later, if I so choose. Right, our coalition government operation has completed. It was a moderate success, nothing too great. Send everyone to build up spy network in California. Everyone in the same place, because we just need a 50% strength in one place. Oh, and we have so many factories, we're not currently constructing stuff as we should. Right, do we? have a collaboration government. I seem to remember having a collaboration government. Japanese Mariana Islands. Where are you? Here. Can I build stuff there? I cannot. Okay, I guess I'll build stuff in Korea. And up here. Oh, this is cool, right? And in here. This is going to become a collaboration government eventually. What else do we hold directly that we could build in? Even if it's colony states. We did take a couple of islands and the like. Just need to find them. Well, I guess I ran out of room to build in. I suppose we can just build military factories in our subjects' territories. We got 75% percent of those anyway. So yay for France, you're getting military factories, and Switzerland, and Austria, essentially everywhere that has good infrastructure. This will do for now. Now go for Poland. Attack against Spain and Portugal is going well, although I should have put more troops in Gibraltar. Now we know. We have bicycle battalions. Not sure I'm gonna use it, but it's good to have it. Let's see if signing the tripartite pact will actually let me get Italy into my faction. Or should I just attack them? Let's see. Let's see if this helps. Because right now I can't really get them into my faction. They don't want to. And Germany, who could get them into our faction, is not currently the faction leader. I could kick Germany from the Axis. That sounds fun. Maybe later. Attack on Poland going well. A bit slowly. I think we'll benefit more from just completing the doctrine rather than converting our troops to bicycle battalions. The United States not even having enough troops to cover the border with us. Uh, I should have prioritized the spies a bit more. I really want that collaboration government here. And I need more manpower. Maybe I shouldn't really be doing focuses. I need political power more than I need the outcome of the focuses. Let's just not do them for a while. Yeah, that's better. Women in the workforce will cost me some stability, giving me 3% recruitable population. Excessive conscription will be slightly more expensive, giving me 2.5, but no penalty and stability. I guess I'll do extensive conscription. We can always do women in the workforce a bit later. I have a war goal I'm not using. Ah, that's the Chinese. Fine. Oh, left Poland for a moment and they're almost defeated. Once we're at war with the United States, I can do another batch of quick war goal justifications for countries like Luxembourg or Lithuania, maybe even Denmark, and get some more territory. Oh, I should take Ireland as well. Portugal, taking over. That's a satellite, Angola. 
and Mozambique and Guinea and pop up the rest please thank you also I'm not going to play this all the way through just look at how slowly this is going in 19 38 because of all of the puppets. 50% spy network is here. Let's do a collaboration government once again. Let's when ready, automatically repeat. 90 days to prepare. I can always hold my offensive if I need to, to wait for the mission. Nationalist Spain has capitulated. We shall once again satellite some people. Saadavi, Arab Democratic Republic, Equatorial Guinea, Galiza, and Catalonia. And pop up the rest. Let's have a look. Yeah, looks about right. Now only Poland is still at war with us. Deploy the troops. Oh, lots of expeditionary forces have been provided. I didn't really actually need to train more troops for this army group. That's yeah, fine. Yep, 72 of you. Get a general of some sort. Maybe defensive one. It doesn't really matter. And garrison the home isles. Well, this should do. Manpower's growing. Good. How are we doing on equipment? Can I start adding support companies to my troops? Not really. Not yet. I have guns, but I don't have enough support equipment. I do have too many trucks even. So let's reduce that. Poland should be capitulating soon. I'm using 12 widths, maybe 10 would be better. Ah, let's stick to what we have. See, this is the thing about playing powerful countries like Japan. It doesn't really matter. The small details don't really matter. You'll win anyway if you make the right decisions in the grand scheme of things. Now, Poland, shouldn't you be capitulating right about now? Push for the victory points. Ah, and there goes Poland. We can satellite some countries this hurts me as a polish guy but let's satellite whoever we can kashubia belarus and silesia fine oh almost let them off without puppeting them and the turn done four more puppets for us wait a minute can it did i read something wrong silesian state i think it's poland kashubian free state and nationalist belarus all right might have must have misread something because i thought there's a canad here okay then we're mostly done in europe we could go after italy i'm still not convinced we need to maybe they will join of their own accord i'm thinking next up the baltic states ireland and turkey once we are already fighting the united states because that will be faster justifications so let's prepare oh is that japanese elon kind of looks like him these three armies should suffice for turkey if not we can always send reinforcements we will finally do luxembourg ireland lithuania and latvia i also think it's time to move into the peninsula here so why not iraq maybe afghanistan too although no i will actually need at least two armies here i think it's fine i think we can take afghanistan with just one army i can always filter in reinforcements later if necessary all right and get in position and once we start fighting the united states the war goal justifications will be 10 days each so very quick and easy also i'm out of oil why the navy is still on a mission somewhere right you just stop being on a mission i honestly i just don't need the navy anymore my puppets france and Albion, sure, will take care of the naval stuff for me, mostly. Of course, I could do a naval invasion on Turkey to speed things up, but it doesn't seem necessary. Hmm. I need to buy some oil from my puppets. Fortunately, it's very cheap, because they're my puppets, and that's better. Still preparing. How long is this going to take? Who's justifying on me? Germany? Really? What, are you doing Sudetenland or something? Sudetenland, yes. Ah, they can no longer throw me out of the faction, so I wonder what happens if I refuse them, or can I refuse them if Sudetenland actually belongs to a puppet? I have not actually experienced this situation before when I am Germany's faction leader interdoing Sudetenland on a subject of mine. Let's see how this plays out. I guess I could send troops to beat up Germany. I certainly can do that. Yay, but the guns are ready. Let's spend a bonus on improved infantry equipment too. And of course, start producing the better guns. Gonna need some more steel for that. Fortunately, we have France who's providing lots of steel, almost for free. Hmm. I could scramble my troops to defend against Germany, I guess. Do I need to? They don't seem to be doing anything aggressive. Let's just see how this plays out. I wish the operations could be sped up, even at great cost. Manchukuo is sabotaging stuff. Or the China is sabotaging stuff in Chinese provocation again? Really? I can just keep clicking this and getting the same war goals. I don't want to fight them, at least not yet. Ah, our war goal is complete. Let us declare war on Mexico. And I don't need to call anyone in, really, except for Canada. The United States should join, and they have, and we're gonna beat them up. But I'm not going to finish them off, at least until I have the second coalition government finished. In the meantime, we can use fighting a major power as a fascist nation to get some quick justifications. Now, who should we do first? I'm thinking Turkey, because it might take a bit longer to beat them up. 10 days for Turkey. You guys split like this. I'm gonna have to do manual orders with this army because this is just weird. The dawn of the North American Entente. That's fine. They're making their own alliance and all the countries I attack will be joining that. Which is fine because I'll just annex them all or puppet them all once we defeat the United States and all my puppets want to join. And I'm fine with that except I really don't 
don't want Germany to join. Is Germany requesting to join me as well? I'm just gonna do it through here. Make sure I don't accidentally call Germany in later. And to get rid of all those pop-ups. Let's maybe find the Germany first. And then click all the other ones when we know where they are. They are at the very bottom. Okay then, call all the tiny puppets in. Slow the game even more. Now, when we attack other countries... Oh, wait a minute, there's three countries here? Right, United Mexican States, Philippines, and uh, the United States. Where was I? Oh, yeah. When we attack other countries, they should automatically join the American faction, and thus I won't have to call my puppets in again. But this could be beneficial. The faction creation, I mean. Empire of the Dutch Antilles. That's just a silly name. Can't be an empire with just the Dutch Antilles. That's a lot of countries to call in, isn't it? But you wanted a puppet master run. Here you go. All right. Oh, I can now do this. Brace for it, holding the enter key, and go. Okay, right, do your thing. Mexico is joined, not really a problem, we'll just crush them when we get there. In the meantime, do I need the elusive gentleman? I do, in case Germany does something stupid and exits my faction. I don't want to lose an operative when that happens, if that happens. Japan already going into the United States. The best way to invade the United States is to invade them from Canada and to do so very early. The operation is in progress. I'm hoping for great success. I have two American agents, so it's possible. That will give me 45% cooperation, a total of 75, and I would just need to wait a little bit until it reached 80 on its own to get the cooperation government. In the meantime, let's so just cancel all of these. In the meantime, next doctrine. Sure, night assault. Why not? Ah, justification on Turkey is complete. Are my troops in position? Yes, they are. Let's declare war on Turkey. All the puppets will automatically be in it when Turkey joins the American alliance, which they should do. Next up, how about Ireland? Is Turkey joining the American alliance? Or are they not? I'm going to call you manually. Well, I just need these particular countries. Hmm, this is inconvenient. It looks like I need to go into this interface, select the war with Turkey, and then find the specific countries I want to call in. Fortunately, Bulgaria is pretty easy to find with this flag. Oh, did they all get called in? No, it just switched me to a different war view. I need to do this again for Greece, and go here and do it again for the Kurdistani state. That's the problem with having so many puppets. Where is Kurdistan? Okay, maybe by the flag colors, white in the middle. Oh, I find Syria. That will help. Still has not found Kurdistan. That's strange. Maybe I can call you through here? No. Well, Syria will have to suffice. Maybe I can find them with the eagle thing. Because I was searching by the colors and by the name. I might just be missing it altogether, but yeah, this is not easy. Oh, Ksoiban Kurdistan, even though it says Kurdistani state here. Oh well, found it at last. All right, let's go after Turkey. So make sure to not capitulate the United States too quickly. Manpower has rebounded very nicely. Hey, you guys, manual orders here and here, please. And a couple infantry experts have appeared. Justification for Ireland's ready. We are ready. Declare war. I will need to call in Northern Ireland. Maybe they'll just join the faction on their own. In the meantime, let's do Lithuania. Oh yes, they joined the American thingy, so soon they'll be calling each other in and I don't need to find Northern Ireland among my puppets manually, I think. Okay, the game doesn't seem to be running anymore. I might have broken it with too many puppets. Is this? It's probably calculating countries joining the war after Ireland has joined the faction. Either that or just broke it. Alright, that's a bit worrying. I got the hourglass cursor and okay, it worked. Man, is it gonna do the same thing every time a country joins their faction? It's possible with all the puppets. I need to rethink my strategy. Some fleet combat here, which I'm going to ignore. And we're getting into Turkey from the south very, very slowly. So wait a minute, they've joined the war. Why are you not attacking? Looks like I need to do them manually again. All right, well, let's find Northern Ireland here. What is your flag? Blue with red cross, Ulster nation. There you go, that's better. Now we got our war goal against Lithuania. Let's declare war and make sure to call in Poland, which is easy to find. Let's finally do Luxembourg, fighting in Ireland, good fighting in Lithuania and in Turkey. All is as planned. Our offensive in the United States is not progressing as fast as I feared, not hoped. Actually wanted to go a bit slowly, so we might not even need to slow down too much to get our operation to finish in time. Yeah, I think we don't need to worry about that. Might even launch a third, since I'm using this war to conquer so many other people. Well, one problem is that the game runs so slowly that I can't stand it. 
Let's get another American operative. Send him somewhere south to build spy networks. Do I want to build everything in California? Can I build a spy network in Alaska? No. Because if I take the area over, the spy network will just go to waste. Mm, I guess I'll send him here and then relocate him to California, maybe? It's not that important. Ah, we broke through. Excellent. Attack Japanese Elon. Ah, justification for Luxembourg. Finally, we can take the city of the world's desire. Alright, now make sure to call France in through this interface or it won't work. There you go. Now we can invade Luxembourg. If they call someone into the war, that's gonna slow my game for a long time. Germany demands Sudetland. Alright, now I wonder what will happen if I refuse. Bohemian Empire leaves Axis, it says. I'm really curious, because Bohemian Empire is my subject, so it can't really leave the Axis. Seems like I broke the game a bit. Looks like this was not anticipated. I have to take this option just to know what happens. So, Bohemian Empire, my subject, Imperial Protectorate of Japan, part of the Axis, who I am the leader of. Let's click this, see what happens. And they are... S oh, what? Okay, they did in fact leave the Axis. So they're my subject, who is not in the same faction as I am. Fortunately, I am the faction leader now, so I can just invite them back. There you go. And the Germany can do fuck all. Right, I need to justify a new war goal. I forgot to do that. Mm, who else were we intending to attack? Iraq. Let's do Iraq. Ten days. Ireland capitulates. Excellent. Now this army is free to attack another country. Who should we attack next? I guess I could do naval invasions of Denmark or Finland, but that's just not a priority for me. Should probably do Yemen, Oman and Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So yeah, from Ireland down to fight Yemen. Zox against Italy, that's fine. Luxembourg capitulates to me. Well, obviously to me. Let's move the army from Luxembourg over to... Hmm, who should we attack with it? I could do Oman, but the army that's going to Yemen can just take care of Oman afterwards. Could send another to Afghanistan. Start going after China, possibly. Or Iran. Well, I will need to deal with Iran eventually. Well, won't need to, but I want to. So go there. In the meantime, let's have a look at the United States. All is as it should be. Perhaps we're advancing a little slow, but it's absolutely fine. We just have to get used to this, because I'm not gonna be dismissing all these all the time. Right, let's surround Izmir, so maybe the other troops I have here can escape the area. I know I could go around here, but then they would take the islands. So yeah, we're going fine with Turkey. Oh, Germany's doing around Maginot. The problem is, all the countries this gives them a war goal on are my subjects. No, Luxembourg is not, goddammit. Hmm. They could use attacking Luxembourg, even though it's capitulated, to get in on this war, which could be a problem for me. Not a big problem, but still a problem. Let's declare war on Iraq and justify a war goal on Latvia. Now, for Iraq, I need to call in... What is it called? Soiban Kurdistan. Even rhymes and what's that? Kuwait. Dictatorial Kuwait. Just looking for something that starts with X. Yes. Soiban Kurdistan. Now Dictatorial Kuwait. This is very annoying. <laughs> but sadly doing it from the diplomacy screen doesn't seem to work properly. There it is. Alright. That will be the end of Iraq very soon. The thing is, I theoretically don't even need to capitulate all the small countries that are joining the American faction. Just when I defeat the United States they'll all capitulate. But it's it's a better, more sure way of doing this. At least I know nothing untoward will happen and block me from winning this properly. Hmm, this unit got cut off, that's unfortunate. But I am through the strait. We can see a little bit under all those offers to join the war. I wish they would just stop sending them. I can cancel them, I suppose. Ah, eh, it's a hassle. Let's well, just keep them in. They will disappear on their own at some point. So we are winning the United States, but we're advancing very slowly. Are you... Oh, and you lost your orders. Take this bit first, before it becomes a problem, then go down to Florida. Is this by mission? Hmm. I might actually, and the spy got displaced, I might actually send more of those missions. I expect it to beat up uh, the United States much faster. But it is a vast swath of land after all. New justification complete. We're ready to go after Latvia. Declare war immediately. I guess this is currently held by me, isn't it? So I can just go from here. Don't need to call anyone in. That simplifies things a bit. Next justification. Hmm. Who are we ready for? Afghanistan. I'm going to have to end the video after this war. It is already excruciatingly slow. And once we acquire all the subjects we're going to acquire from attacking all these people, it's going to get even slower. Lithuania capitulates. Oh, did they not join the faction? That's convenient. Puppet, Lithuania. As a new puppet, they will be involved in all my wars. 
automatically. Hmm, seems like I lost a couple of troops here and there. No matter. Let's reinforce with expeditionary forces that we are constantly receiving. Some infantry experts can finally afford to hire the logistics guy. That's gonna help a bit. German pressure towards the Benelux. Uh, no, this could be problematic if they declare war on Luxembourg. If they can declare war on a capitulated Luxembourg, and then they would join this war and want to share in the spoils, which of course I do not want. No, oh, I lost a unit here. Another justification complete. This time it's Afghanistan. Declare war and justify on Yemen. My dudes are on their way. Also, next the doctrine. All right, I'm forgetting. I have the United States cipher. Let's use it. See, I didn't forget completely this time. Just forgot a little bit. Almost done with the operation. Maybe I can launch a third. I'm not in a rush to, f to defeat the United States. Turkey is still holding. I think I made the right decision to attack them early because this is taking a lot of effort. You attack from the other side and Izmir is taken care of. Good, now finish them off. Also, why is this going to Bulgaria? How's Afghanistan? It's fine. Yemen, justification complete. We are almost ready. I suppose I could declare right away. We're not really ready to fight Iran yet. Our troops are not in position. I guess I'll justify on Oman and just not use the war gold immediately. Maybe even I should go after Estonia right now. Uh, but that's... Uh... That's not really that important. I'm getting a lot of support equipment. Should we perhaps... Oh, something's happening. Communist China attack China, not my problem. Should I perhaps add support companies to this template? Cavalry Recon Detachment. Yes, yes I should. It's gonna help them a bit. And I do have the equipment. Make sure all the frontline reserve battalions are switched to that template as well. So that'll be this army group. 12 with some support. That will make them a bit stronger. 7 days for collaboration government. We're ready to attack Yemen. Let's declare war. I have direct control here, so no need to worry about calling anyone in. Justification for Oman is ready. Let's not use it immediately. Instead, justify on Estonia. Are we actually making gains in Afghanistan? Um, they're very slow gains. If there are any. But Turkey's about to be defeated, which is nice. How far from capitulation are the United States? Oh, very close actually. Did the second mission finished, yes it did, that's why. I might need to stop my advance to not defeat them too quickly, because we're doing very well on those justifications. Let's see how successful the second mission was. Great success, so we have 75% collaboration in the United States. We could do a collaboration government almost immediately, we would need to still invest a little bit in it. Perhaps I should stop the advance. No, I don't want to delay this too much. Let's take a couple more countries and that will be sufficient. Iraq capitulates and they have not joined the faction so I'll just puppet them. Now puppeting Iraq is usually a bad idea because the British get war goals on them. Well the British are not a problem for me because there are no British anymore. Prepare to attack Iran please. Ah the United States capitulated. Well a bit faster than I expected them to but it's fine. Let's pass a couple of times so we have all the points we need. Philippines are out oh, damn it I made a mistake. If I did not pass initially, I could probably get the Philippines as a subject from this. But as we have not fought the Philippines, it, and the option disappeared. No, actually, I just clicked the wrong button. I clicked the United Mexican States rather than the United States. I'll disregard all that about Philippines. But in the past, sometimes the option disappeared after you passed. Doesn't really matter. All right, United States, satellite Puerto Rico, satellite the Kingdom of Haya. Was that Kingdom of Hawaii? Yeah, it's still like the Philippines. Ireland puppet, Mexico puppet, Luxembourg puppet. End turn. Now, as for the United States, I have very high compliance here, so I don't want to make them a puppet, not yet. I want to take all states, increase compliance a little bit, and then we will receive a collaboration government. It's gonna take a while to process all this. There you go. Wait a minute. I'm not at war? Oh, yeah, it just disappeared for a moment. I am, in fact, at war with all the people I'm supposed to be at war with, it seems. Okay, good. Still at war with Turkey, Latvia, Yemen and Afghanistan. I am also finishing up a war goal on Estonia. In the meantime, compliance here is 75%. Now, how are we doing with garrisons? They are prioritized, everything will be fine. No cipher being de decrypted. Um, sure, Soviet Union, why not? Or we could do Italy. Can Germany ask Italy to join Second Vienna War? Oh, let's have a look. They can, theoretically. So they might want to join our faction. We'll see. Let's leave Italy alone for now. Send the spies to the Soviet Union. Just everyone here. 541 factories at the moment. 42. Ah, damn it. Turkey joined the Chinese United Front. There's always complications, aren't there? I don't really feel like fighting China. I mean, we could beat them. Don't really want to. Justification for Estonia is complete. Let's get one of the armies here. Get to Estonia. And declare war. Immediately. Why not? Let's call Lithuania to arms. Go do your thing. Also, I can now build factories, civilian factories, all around what used to be the United States. I'm going to get a lot of them once they become a collaboration government. Oh, I'm not currently justifying a war goal. That's a mistake. But also, I don't have my bonus anymore. I guess, uh, I guess I'll justify on Iran. 100 days is not that long. I just hope Turkey doesn't call its new allies 
to the war. And it just did, as I was saying that. That's why the game slowed down. That's a problem. I don't really want to fight China. But at least we can use that to justify faster. 10 days again. Secure China. Focus. Bypassed. Turkey capitulates. So, should we actually engage China? Who are you at war with exactly? My subjects too. Not all of my subjects, but many. You actually click where you called in to the war. You were not. Right, let's send some troops to the appropriate locations. Maybe we should finally call in Germany. Could be helpful. Expensive, taking stuff, but helpful. So did Mexico get a peace deal? Yes, they're my subject now. Let's use the troops that were in the United States to take care of China. Your time has come, China. Should not have meddled in my affairs. Get in position, everyone. It's China clubbering time. Yemen capitulates. Give me access to their stuff. Damn it, no, 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 no. Ah, crap. I was supposed to puppet them, not annex them. I think I'm getting tired of the slow running game. I can still release them if I so choose. So, let's so choose. I can release Pakistan now, but I'm, uh, you know, working to get them. It's a collaboration thingy. Yemen, there you go. Release nation. Also, my spies should be in China instead. China, China, and communist China. Do that. It's gonna take my guys a while to get there. Afghanistan joined the Chinese United Front. Okay, no problem. Yunnan has been called in, but not all my subjects here are involved, so it shouldn't really be a problem. Once all my troops arrive, if they do, because it looks like not all of them will have a place to arrive at, I'll just call everyone in. Is Xinjiang in the faction? It is. Well then, you can take care of Xinjiang. You take Oman, because I can attack them now. Wait a minute, was I what all of them? I thought the borders were a bit different. Doesn't really matter. Get in position, and I'll just attack now, so I don't forget. Yes, of course they joined the Chinese United Front. Okay, Italy pursues closer bonds with Germany. Is that enough for you to want to join my faction? It is not. Well, that's a bit of an issue, especially if they decide to attack Greece, which is my puppet now. Oh well, not like it's a big deal. Iran, go. Make sure you are called to arms. Same for you, for all the wars everywhere. You can actually advance from your territory. None, not from Al Muthi something Iraq. Let's have a look if I can see them here. We should sort them by name. I'm not sure how they're sorted, but it's not by name. Not by size either. Maybe tag numbers? Now I need to call these guys in as well. You know what? I'm tired of this. I'm just gonna call everyone to all the wars, including Germany. If they take some stuff, so be it. It's also gonna take a while to process all the calls, and it's fine. So there might be some trouble in the southern Chinese nations attacking me if I call everyone in, because then they'll be able to. But this is just too annoying to, you know, manually search the list for the current country that I actually want to call into that particular war. And if I just call everyone to everything, the wars should get merged and it will be a little less complicated. Okay, it looks like I called everyone in, more or less. Germany might join or might not, I don't really care anymore. Go, beat them up. Okay, Spain and Germany also joined. Now this is a problem because Germany will likely try to take some stuff, but it's not a big issue. The big issue here is that I will lose these ports most likely. I did send some troops there, but they're far, far away. So am I justifying on anyone right now? Let me check. I'm currently not justifying on anyone. Okay, who should we attack next? I don't really want to go into Scandinavia because that's naval invasions, so Germany might take care of that. How about Saudi Arabia? Let's do Saudi Arabia. Is Bulgaria? I will gladly take your trucks. Yes, I accept all your offers to join my wars. Oh, looks like Communist China is gonna get killed. Possibly. Can I hold Macau and Hong Kong? That would be quite advantageous. Also, Germany finally called in. Might do stuff. They might also try to steal my prizes. I can always beat them up if I so choose. It's not like they're a threat to me with 2 million manpower and 600 factories. And all the puppets. Right, so do more support equipment. That's enough for infantry weapons. Let's start adding artillery to our guys, perhaps. Speaking of... I do have quite a lot of support equipment in storage, don't I? 10,000. What if I were to add engineers to all these companies? It would use almost all the stuff that I have in storage, but not more than that. Sure, let's add support equipment. Gonna help them a bit. Latvia capitulates. Puppet. Latvia. Recalculating everything and declaring war on everyone. It's gonna take a moment. Okay, finishing off Estonia here. Hmm. Now I'm about to research the landing craft. Maybe attacking Finland and so on is not such a bad idea, although it is a hassle. Just occasional on Saudi Arabia will have to wait a bit, because my troops are not currently free. Who else do we have we could attack in the area? Could the CM or Nepal? Let's do Nepal. Decrypt China. Communist China has capitulated to China. Okay, less countries to deal with. Okay, all the fights are actually progressing properly, although they are slow. Vapid Estonia, please. Vapid Estonia. Vapsid Estonia has been 
puppeted. Which leaves me with two free armies. Where should I send you? Well, one of you will go to Saudi Arabia to attack them from the north, and the other, mm -mm, I basically own Europe except for Italy and Scandinavia. Have a look. All of that which is not Germany belongs to me. Well, I could do Denmark. Sure, I guess we can do Denmark. We'll need to get Germany involved, but it doesn't really matter. Getting progress in Iran. Once we deal with Oman, Saudi Arabia is next. Investigation for Nepal is ready. Although I did not really send troops here. Let's do Denmark. Oman taken care of. Go for Saudi Arabia. How are we doing in China? We are actually progressing, although my troops have not arrived yet. They are only arriving just now. War gone, Denmark ready. Troops in Denmark ready. Declare war. All of allies go once again gonna take a moment to process a long moment this war declaration took two minutes to process you might see why this is annoying just for denmark okay do i want to declare war on more people not really to be honest well i do have my war goals are we ready to go for saudi arabia We're almost ready i guess i can do that now declare war call allies and now i'm going to track exactly how long it takes to process everything and it's not like i have a weak computer i have a 32 thread processor 64 gigs of ram and the top graphics card go okay this took 2 minutes and 13 seconds. I think I should probably not attack more people. Or rather, attack the ones we have war goes on and just not justify more. Turning this into a world conquest with puppets could take actual days to complete. Just the gameplay. Last doctrine. Infiltration in depth. We also have a war goal in Nepal. Once we finish Afghanistan off, I might use it. My troops from America have started arriving in China. This is who we are at war with. Of course, they stand no chance. It's gonna take a moment. Let's do women in the workforce and improved work conditions. Iran taken care of. That leaves me with three... No, two free armies because I sent one over to Afghanistan. And the one in Denmark I'm supposed to actually use against Denmark. Although, to be honest, I could leave this to Germany. They can probably do it on their own. Ah, oh, Saudi Arabia capitulates. Excellent. Right, let's send one army against... Uh, sorry, not Bhutan. Nepal, because I already did the war goal on them. And the rest of you... Go to China. One for Xinjiang and two down south. So, some levels. Sure, why not? And you can take care of Denmark for me. Let's declare war on Nepal. It's gonna take my guys a bit to get there. But if I don't declare war now, I might forget later. Well, maybe let's not call everyone in. Just Japanese Raj. So they joined the Chinese United Front, so they might just join the wars of their own accord. Ah, I think that's happening now. Yeah, it's actually faster if I don't call everyone in and just let them call themselves in, so to say. So let's do Bhutan as well, why not? Just have this neat coverage everywhere. Italy remains a sore spot. I should have waited for Germany to befriend them before I took the faction over. Denmark capitulates. Good. Should we go after Sweden? We should. We should indeed go after Sweden. Why the hell not? Our invasion from the north is uh, going well enough. Iceland takes control of foreign affairs. We could attack them, but I don't see a point to that. Afghanistan is taken care of, which frees up two armies. I'm actually gonna send one back to Europe. If we are attacking Sweden, let's do it properly. One of you can go after Bhutan, since we're already here. There's some Sinkiang troops here. I should eliminate quickly. Next, war goals. Sweden. How's my compliance? Slowly growing. Very slowly. Oh, landing crafts. A bit late for that, but I guess I could use them to get some naval invasions on China, but I don't really need to. Supply is an issue here, but once again, we are so powerful we could just throw people at the problem until they solve it or we run out of people, and we won't run out of people. Nepal capitulates. I guess go for Tibet. Ah, justification for Sweden is ready. Justify on Tibet. And declare war on Sweden. I'm not calling anyone in. I hope they do all the calling in. It processes a bit faster that way. In the meantime, let's question Tibetan sovereignty. I suppose I could do naval invasions, but maybe just brute forcing it through here will work. And if not, maybe Germany will launch naval invasions. And if not, then I can do it. The troops assigned to fight Bhutan are mostly here. Declare war. Probably call the Raj in, but uh, I think they'll do the war joining for me eventually. Oh, she actually click capitulates. Nice. It'll give us slightly better access to China. Mort of Ribbentrop. Well, we have conquered most of the world already and the new justification is complete tibet go are we gonna get through here probably not that other army that's going there should probably do a naval invasion instead especially now that we have better technology for it it takes so long to prepare let's do it in batches of four less clicking acceptable preparation time just 14 days to prepare good i do have a fleet somewhere if i could see anything on the screen with all these notifications ah relocate to the baltic sea and help naval invasions here that should do looks like i need to call the raj in will this work or do i need to use the interface i need to use the interface 
unfortunate Japanese rush. Here we go. Now we can go for Tibet and Bhutan from the south. Oh, doing nice progress in China. Much better than I anticipated. No time for collaboration governments. The higher the compliance, the slower the growth, sadly. Bhutan capitulates. Let's research the best guns, though we won't finish them. It's just something I like to do. Just focus on a few branches of very important technology. Improvisation expert. I do like that one. And infantry expert. Looks like we're not getting across here, but the naval invasion should work. Once they get in position, that is. Look at the game speed and the number of notifications. This is torture because it's only 1939. Now you can imagine how this would look if we were to take it all the way to conquer the whole world and release all the puppets. Yeah, it would be intolerable. Oh, we landed. That was fast. Okay then, cancel all your orders, get over here, attack Sweden. I guess I could just fail Norway when I'm on already here. Oh, the Soviet Union has decided to try and attack us. Oh, that's very silly, Joseph. Denounce Norwegian ideals. Chinese cipher decrypted. That's actually useful. Let's use it. We're almost done with China, it seems. Shang-Chi capitulates. Good. Well, China has a very high surrender threshold, but we are making very quick progress with our superior armies. Tibet capitulates. All right. Oh, is a peace conference coming? No, not yet. No way. Declare war. No need to call allies just yet. Or maybe ever. Should we do Finland? Yes, yes we should. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Is someone calling someone in? Yes. That's why the game slows down so much. Right, you guys, um, can you go into Norway? Maybe if you fight them a little bit, we'll get them without having to capitulate the country. No, I don't want you to join all the wars, to decline everything. I want to see the screen. How far is China from capitulation, actually? Oh, still far. 5% or less territory. Victory points. Well, we are about to take Nanjing, so that will put a dent in their resilience. Maybe I can get to attack Finland before they capitulate. Just location on Finland's ready. Let's attack. Why not? And we are across the strait here as well. Going into Norway. Fall of Nanjing. China is not capitulating yet, but we're very close to it. I didn't actually plan to attack China. Turkey joining their faction put a little bit of a dent in my plans. Okay, you know what? I think that's enough people to attack. Finland has joined the Chinese United Front. Hmm. This is a nice picture. Only missing Italy. I should attack them, but don't really feel like it. And Siam could be next, I suppose. I guess I can do Siam still. It is close by. Let's take one army from China, send it over to Siam. Okay, looks like someone has capitulated. Uh, oh, that's war goals. Yeah, yeah, don't really care about that. Gonna be doing the puppets. Tibet, puppet. No way. Puppet. Nepal. Puppet. Saudi Arabia. Same. Iran. Satellite Azerbaijan and then Puppet. One Puppet. Jiangxi. Click. Satellite Communist China. Oh, I can Satellite Communist China. Huh. Communist China is actually a much better puppet than China itself. So maybe I should Satellite Communist China from China. Yes, I should. Denmark. Puppet Afghanistan. Turkey Shore. Puppet everyone. Can I do that in a single round? Let's see. Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, well, puppeting Iran did not work out. Let's do that too. And the Conference. It's gonna take a moment to prepare. Again. A couple of minutes, perhaps. There we go. It is done. Am I still at war with someone? Finland and Sweden. I'm going to say it's inconsequential at this point. We have achieved our objectives. And more than that, because I didn't really plan to go after China. Now let's have a look at the world. Everything is mine. Almost. Factions map mode will show it the best. Ah, Chinese United Front is now led by Sweden, it seems. Sweden and Finland will fall within... I know, a couple of months. It is not really difficult to beat them. I only sent two small armies there. They were already winning. And on the continent, only Italy and Siam remain neutral. I was hoping to get Italy into my faction, but we could destroy them very easily with our superior military might and German help as well. Germany? Oh, they're doing alliance with Italy. I wonder, maybe I will play along a little bit more to see if Italy agrees to that. And of course, there's the common turn, but we can squash them. We can squash them easily, especially now that we have such a long border with them and more troops than the Soviet Union. Way more. Also, having communist China as a puppet, I could actually feed them all this territory, but I wanted to have more puppets. And this is great because they have nice manpower modifiers and, see, 35 million manpower that I can steal from Chinese Empire but this is not Chinese Empire as China turned to fascist. It's Chinese Empire Communist China turned to fascist, which is why they have better modifiers. So yeah, I could use the trick to steal manpower from them and get 40 million total. I don't need to, but I could. Right, let's uh, 
I'll just go on for a little while longer and see what uh, the German focus alliance with Italy does. Because if Italy wants to join my faction, that's all the better. In the meantime, maybe we can finish off Sweden. I guess I could send more troops their way. Just an army of expeditionary forces without even a field marshal. Go help a bit. Oh, Japanese Elon got a level. Fortress Buster. Now, Joseph is, of course, justifying on my puppet. He obviously doesn't stand a chance, but with how slowly this is going, I really don't want to play another war. Also, our compliance in the United States is growing. It is at 77%. When it reaches 80, I would get them as a collaboration government, giving me lots of factories and manpower. Justification on Siam is ready. I don't really want to fight Siam, but uh, since I do have the justification, I guess I can declare war on them. Not calling anyone in, they should take care of that. Germany is about to. Yes, they want to get in on my war. Germany is about to finish their focus. Let's see what it does. It seems to do nothing. Did Italy get an event, even though Germany is not the faction leader? No, I don't think they did. They just don't want to get involved with me for some reason. Maybe the tripartite pact would help the issue, but at this point I'm over it. If Italy doesn't want to be friends, they don't want to be friends. Oh, Sweden capitulates. And there is the peace conference. That's Puppet Siam, Puppet Sweden. Sverica. And only Finland remains. But I'm going to end it here. Maybe I'll make this. <laughs> That's a lot of notifications, isn't it? Quite a lot of notifications. Let's decline them all and have one final look at the map. Alright, so we control the axis. Italy has not joined. Germany is subservient to us. What would I do next if I was not so annoyed by the slow pace of the game? Uh, well, of course, I would finish off uh, Finland, since we're already at war with them. And after that, I would attack Italy and Liberia to make this look a bit better, because those are the only not mine spots down here. While preparing to fight the Soviet Union because they're justifying on me. The Soviet Union, let's be honest, it's not a threat. My armies are vastly more powerful than theirs and we would crush them within a year, maybe even faster. And the only reason why, would, why it would take... No, actually not within a year, within half a year. Are you sure of that? And it would only take so long because of the size of the country. After all, it is September 1939 and we own most of the world. After we've dealt with the Soviet Union, we would get even more puppets and slow the game down even more. Once we have secured the old world, essentially, Europe, Africa and Asia would be ours entirely, as well as Australia and North America. That means including Italy and Liberia and this possibly Iceland too. Once we cleaned that, up, I would just start declaring war on everyone in South America, possibly while being at war with the Soviet Union or Italy, just to make their justifications faster. And with that, we would have the world at our feet. Now, I know many of you would like to see that, but let's be honest, it's gonna be boring from now on. We have 900 factories, 3.8 million manpower, and if I want, I can go to 40 million with our Chinese puppet and even more with other puppets. Our industry is insanely high. I'm about to get a collaboration government on the United States. We control Germany. Nobody in the world can stand up to us. And at this point, attacking everyone else at the same time is not even a problem. We can take everyone else in the world. And there is no challenge left. So yeah, we have one, I think. We are the most powerful and there's no one else left to challenge us. Germany theoretically... Oh, befriends Japan, yeah. I wanted to say that they might want to betray us and use, you know, try to attack Gdańsk or something, but I don't think the AI is even prepared to leave the Axis as Germany. That's one thing. And the other, well, Adolf probably has realized that I own everything else, so he can't really stand up to me. So yeah, to reiterate, Italy, Soviet Union, then the rest of the world. And I think we will have a world conquest maybe by the end of 1941, because it would still take some time to justify all the war goals and get through the terrain in South America. So I'm guessing two more years for a full world conquest, maybe a bit shorter. Maybe we could do it by the end of 1940, not sure about that. I guess we probably could. It would be enough to just launch small naval invasions of all the countries in South America and make sure they join the Comintern, and when we defeat the Soviet Union they would all fall in line and be annexed. So yeah, I think by the end of 1940 we could have the world. So the conclusion is, um, yes, attacking France as Japan initially is a very powerful opener. Also, as you know, Japan is one of the most powerful countries in the game. And as usual, playing as Japan, Soviet Union, Germany, France, Britain, Italy or United States, well, it's not that difficult to subjugate the world to your will quite quickly. Anyway, let me know if you liked this video. It's one of the longer ones, I'm sure. And do let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. I hope you had a good time and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.